What I love is we hear the dog barking loudly. And nobody else and does. No one else does. That's on what's this weird. Well, we've got compressors and de essers and all I this I don't know cool what a compressor or a de esser A compressor is in your car, a right? A de esser keeps your S's from being like Digital this. Digital signal? Oh. So it kind of mutes. Hola, welcome. Hey, everybody. Buenvenidos de los Googlos de cervezas. What is all those words? Welcome mean? to the beer Googles. Double E, double O, double G, C, Jace, yes. And uh, before we before we continue, yeah. What are we, what are we doing again? Please, please. What are we asking? What are we asking the audience? Uh, rate, review, download, subscribe, all that stuff. Please follow drop, us. Drop your rappers and on then, the floor, and then change the video. because oh. because we are officially on YouTube again, sir. Uh, you're excited in. about it. I'm super excited about it. I don't know how to open a granola bar wrapper, so I'm going back to third grade. Well, I'm very excited, just so you know. I don't know how excited you are about my excitement, but... I, know, I did watch kind of... like 19 seconds of the last the video you posted yesterday, yeah. Friday, was it? What's... Yeah, the CTE one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Turned out really well, I thought. I only watched a little bit of it because I'd already listened to an hour on iTunes, and then I realized, oh, let me check YouTube and see if... The... I'm stupid. I didn't press the video button. That's you. Uh, I already listened to an hour on the on the on the YouTube, on the iTunes, so I went to YouTube and was like, "Oh shoot, let me see if it's up." And then I'm like, "Okay, I'm not going to try to find the exact moment where it was," so I just let it roll. An hour. But how did it sound? What'd you I think? Hate you. Yes, it sounded it fine. really good, right? An hour. Thanks, dipshit. <laughs> you said an hour in. I was trying to help. <laughs> so before we begin our begin our Google A Day cervezas, I believe you have a porn story. First of all, I wanted to, I will get to that. You. I feel like you're going to overuse the buttons. You're going to do it. I just know it. <sighs> okay. If that's true, you can feel free to remove the buttons from my side of the recording studio table. I can kiss your grits, bro. You can kiss my grits, Flo. Kiss my grits, Flo. So first of all, I wanted to thank you for your statement on the CTE podcast about the Gladiator podcast. Oh, Because I yes. listened to um, almost, I'm on the last episode. I listened to all of them last night. And they, I was so impressed. Because I watched the Netflix special The about, Netflix doesn't do it right, right. any justice, so my friend. The Gladiator podcast is about Aaron Hernandez, the Florida Gator from Connecticut that went on to play for the Patriots. And he was convicted of murder that hung himself in prison. Hanged him. Hung. Hanged. Whatever. You, Fuck. You, you hung. You, Again. Yes. I'm so sorry for my shitty grammar. The dude killed himself. Grammar. Grammar. Grammarically incorrect. <laughs> Hark. So. <laughs> uh, for those of you, for those of us who don't understand what's going on. Yes, please go. Today is. November. Tuesday. Today's the day before Thanksgiving, no, bro. Wednesday, November 25th. That's correct. Is that correct? Okay. So today is Wednesday, November 25th. We released an episode, a brand new episode on CTE, TBI, concussions and everything on Tuesday, the 24th of November. Yes. Okay. The reason we're talking about it is because you and I don't watch this or listen to us. We don't edit. We don't do anything until we release the episode. Is that correct? Correct, sir. Okay. So now I had mentioned in that podcast because we totally forget what we talk about until we listen to it a month later. Well, because it's two goddamn hours. I know. Because we never shut up. Yeah, that's what's beautiful about it. Okay. But I mentioned this Gladiator thing, and you said I saw a Netflix thing, and you, you showed not much interest, but I tried to really push you did. about how different and how amazing that one is, right? Yeah. So let's cl yeah. let's talk about that a little bit. Unless, you know what? Do we want to just break it down and do a quick 30-minute? And then talk about pterodactyl porn? Yeah. And just skip the survey altogether? No, we'll do the survey as a beer Googles. We'll do this as a non-conscious. I'll just hit the music again. Uh, Sure, yeah, whatever you say. What do you think? Sure. C can we do it? Because it's not going to be long. I don't remember all the particulars, but I can shit on well, Belichick and, and fucking Yeah, I'm on the last episode, so I haven't, I'm only like five minutes into the last episode. Oh. I believe there's seven. Seven, 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 seven. Anyway. So yeah, I, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, want to, do you want to watch the end? Do you want to wait till no, the no, end no. of it? I mean, you. Can, I don't. I don't think I'm missing anything. There's you know, some stuff. Where'd you get? How far'd you get? Well, he already. He already. Oh, killed he's already... himself. Okay. And they they did chest compressions for 20 minutes. They took him away right. in an ambulance. Um, and they, you know, the the then like, um, the Patriots who won the Super Bowl, right before that, 
Yeah. And they had a they went to the White House, they met President Trump. Huge. And huge. then they met the president. It's great. It was huge. Uh, I think we're gonna have to start over. But why? I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch that again or listen to it again in the next couple days. We'll do an episode on it. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah. Because it's because it's fresh in your mind. I haven't listened to it since it came out, which was two years ago. Oh, I need to really? Be, I need to be refreshed. It's been out for two years. Yeah. Oh. At least at least a year and a half. Because I'm pretty. We were still at the old building that I worked at. Okay. So. <laughs> what is going on today with Christopher? Do you know? What the fuck you ought to do uh, yes. over his hair? I do. I'm trying to... Yes, I think I got it. You have to tighten it some more. I know. Oh it just needs tightening, bro. I know. I was doing lefty-loosey, righty-wrongy, bro. Oh, right. I love righty-wrongy. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hola. Welcome. Uh, welcome. To... We hit the beer Googles button way too many times today, bro. We so... did. We did. But you know what? This one's going to stick. Okay. Just like, just like uh, Mary Lou Retton stuck that landing. Boom. 9.999, sucker. 10, bro. Perfect 10. 10. Even though she hopped. Did you ever she did it? have a little hopper She shouldn't. I was not a ten. Was that eighty four? Eighty four in Los Angeles. Yes. While while the Russians were not were not involved, remember they boycotted. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We boycotted because of the uh, Reagan. The, we boycotted summer eighty, I think. We did. And they boycotted summer no, eighty four. Winter eighty. No, we won winter eighty with the US, that was with the miracle, Placid, right? correct? The miracle. So summer eighty. Was no, that, that, that was we boy. They boy. No, yeah, they boycotted eighty four. We boycotted their. We boycotted the winter, I think, that year or something. Because it wasn't like a Russia America. It's making my head hurt, bro. My head already always hurts, bro. Okay. <laughs> it, it didn't feel right, man. What are we doing? This is like the sixth no, time, it. bro. All right, we're gonna. This is this one's gonna stick. Are you? She already said that, Mary Retton. <laughs> 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 oh, dude. Hey, everybody. Hola, welcome. Marcus, how are you doing today? Hey, sir. Hola. Oh, for the 32nd time today. And only the 7, 7, 7, 7 time. 7, 9, no, no, 19. Yes. Um, welcome to Beer Google, sir. Buenvenidos. Uh, double E. Double O. Double G. Double E. All the S's. And the L's. There's like threes. And the G's. Oh, my God. We're going to start over. Nope. OG's. Yes. There's OG, OG's. Because we oh, do oh. love Olive Garden. Oogs. Yes. The Oogs. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Uh, rate, subscribe, download. Yeah, get off me, bro. Get off me. There you go. Yeah, I'm not on off. you. Now you're off. You now, dirty you little freak. Me, you're on. Now you're off me. Okay. Today we're talking about uh, our bucket list. We're talking about bucket list. Of places we'd like to see. Check monuments. Out. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Whether Both. man-made or natural? Yes. Before we begin, however, yes. we must ask that you follow us, please. Yes. Port of order. Oh, um, it's not on me, so don't uh, follow us. <laughs> Rate. Review, subscribe, subscribe, download, download, all the good stuff. Yeah. Please. Yeah. We, Notconscious.com. We're like crushing the downloads and have zero like We have 30. Feedback. I know. How many uh, downloads there, big guy? <laughs> Today is over 6,250. Wow. Yeah. So we'll be well, we'll be probably at 75 to 8,000 by the time this launches, but we'll still have 30 reviews. 31, so, um, dude. 31. Dude. Please, can we can we please get to 31? Yes. So before we begin on the bucket list, you had a pterodactyl porn bucket list story. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I don't think it was a bucket list. It, it was, the, it was, like it was a negative bucket it. list. Okay. How did, how did this... Talk to me about it, bro. God, I hate you so much. Why? Why did I open my big fucking mouth? You, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, man. But you're on the spot now. Yeah, I hate you. Okay, so... We can always hit the button again. My dearest friend Abel is a fucking weirdo, and God, I love him. We talked today for That's like... That's your a, best friend. Yeah, we went to high school together, and we talked today, actually, for like an hour and a half. So, um... That's nice. Yeah, right after work. Uh, somehow, some way, a pornographic film came to his attention... That, and this is a movie guy. This is he's, the movie he has guy. a degree in film production, right? So exactly. he's a he's a movie buff. He loves movies. I bet the guys in the porno were pretty buff too. Uh, from what I saw, no. So Ron Jeremy style. <laughs> Should it? I don't because now you're do going to go right back to you. Do it again. Talk. Do it again. <laughs> I'm Ron Jeremy, dude. That dude banged everything. Dude, he. I heard he's in jail. <laughs> What? For, he's in jail for like a Fake. sexual assault. Son of a bitch. 
He looks like 97, though, bro. He does. How many kilos of cocaine has he done in his life? How is, how could he have sexual assault in the porn industry? I don't I don't know, dude. Does he still work? Okay, this is a... Let's not talk about that guy ever again. I feel like we need to start over. No. <laughs> no. Wait, no, wait, wait, no. I'm just kidding. We got to have kidding. a rule where we have maximum of two start overs. Right, but that the do overs were very necessary in this case. I disagree. Okay, completely. so tell tell us your pterodactyl. Okay, so porn. Abel somehow somewhere I I don't remember where he came across a pornographic film, and it was all dinosaur erotica. I don't remember the name of it. Excuse me. So. I got I got a copy in the mail. Pa stick it in my butt. Pa stick it, correct. Pa stick it in my pa butt. Pa sussy, pa tussy. <laughs> in pa Philadelphia. Pa stick it in my pa tussy. <laughs> in pa 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 kipsy. So. T -t 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 Junior. <laughs> so I, I he showed me the I've only saw about forty eight seconds of the movie. Okay. Okay. The forty eight seconds that I saw where were two grown men in full pterodactyl Halloween type outfits. Huh? So their arms were full wings. Like were they in the wing or under the wing? No, they like, were in the wings. Wow, they were And they had the, the big pterodactyl Damn. Like Was there a dildo like No wait, I, the, wait. The, No dildos, the bro. Okay. The pterodactyl. Why are we? Why are we talking about this? I because <laughs> I, I had you talk about you it, fucking... ladies and gentlemen. And I will take full responsibility for the shittiness of this of the content of this. Uh, because I, you're gonna fucking pee your pants laughing. I can't wait. You... I'm, that's why I'm drinking so much right now. Okay, so it, the guys had the big pterodactyl beak, like fucking. So you didn't you didn't see any human stuff human stuff at all okay it, okay none of the humanity was none hu none of the human was present you saw wings and they were wearing a full outfit except for their wieners dude okay <sighs> Hold, uh, what so, so there was a little there was, was a it little, painted were they painted green no like it was obviously it was a human wiener <laughs> as opposed to a dinosaur wiener <sighs> yes we're gonna have to start over aren't we? no <laughs> <sighs> Okay. So human wiener like a human dick out. was sticking out of oh. the of the outfit oh, of the, the pterodactyl outfit. outfit. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm paying attention. So and these two gentlemen were uh giving it to this porn actress uh, who is giving it to. I love uh, it. having sex with this yes. porn actress. I believe the term who, is intercourse. Inter okay. Yes, they were banging her. So and she was completely naked in a non dinosaur type way was she like in a cave woman kind of way no no she, she was wasn't naked. there was nothing or anything there was nothing she was completely ordinary and it was kind of outdoors kind of like twilight hours so that you saw some trees and shit so they were doing their thing right in the corner of the screen a pterodactyl puppet I repeat, <clears throat> a pterodactyl puppet. 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 A hand puppet. Hand puppet. Comes into view. Looks at the people doing it. Looks at the audience. Looks at the camera. Like Look, deadpan to the camera? Deadpan to the oh, camera. I love that. And goes, right. <laughs> and that's when I stopped watching. How could you stop watching at that point? Because that it sounds was, like it's just getting started. I wish I could unsee this idiocy. So then, I am so dumb. All my friends at work find out about it. Because uh, you at, told at, them. At, at Revnata. Oh. Yeah, when I was the manager and all those guys in, in that row yeah. over in desktop. Teddy. No, right? uh, oh. Jim, Rob Jimerson yeah, and yeah. all those dudes, Fight right? Club Rob. Yes, correct. Yes. Fight Club Rob. So they- Shout out, by the way. I, Abel sent me one for Christmas. Uh, he bought 12 of them of the DVDs and he gave, he sent them out for Christmas. Merry, happy birthday, Jesus. Here's dinosaur porn. Please tell me they were 99 cents. I don't something. care. I don't know. I hate you so much. I don't fucking care. I, I really feel like we should restart. I don't, I'm not liking this. Oh my God. Shut but I love you.
I'm just I'm going to get to the end of this, I'm just you fucking, fucking you. dick. I'm fucking with you, bro. So, I'm sitting there at my desk one day. It's fucking quiet. Unlike our podcast, which... And I talk Rob goes, Rot! <laughs> and fucking <laughs> ten dudes start fucking busting up laughing. <laughs> Uh, and did you guys all watch it together one day? No, I, they a didn't? couple guys found out about it, so they watched it on their own, whatever. Right. So Abel, I told him, I'm like, dude, I don't that shit's fucking traumatizing. I don't want to know about that shit. F- fuck you. On loan from the Wizzy Library. And so I threw it out. Of porn. He sent me another one the next Christmas. Happy birthday, Jesus. Here's your newest copy of the Pterodactyl porn. Was it in the shoebox with a bunch of other shit? The box no, shit? No, just it was. Oh, man. That also went in the trash. I was like, dude, I don't, I love you, dude, but I don't know. Fuck off. I'm curious the copyright date of that. I, I'm sure he could provide you with all the horrible information. I'm okay. Then, the piece de la resistance. <laughs> Abel's wife is very aware of this thing, thing, whatever the fuck, and she thinks it's funny as shit. Right. She's not traumatized at all like me. She thinks it's fucking Why would she hyster- be? She thinks it's fucking hysterical. So, Abel, for his wedding, gets a bunch of guys in on a joke that once the pastor guy says something, I think it's now I now pronounce you man and wife, all the dudes... No. At, and by the way, he's it's a Ren Faire wedding, so everyone dresses up. We can oh, tell that story right. if you want. That. You I know, was, it might as well. It's I was a musketeer. Fucking... Fuck you. So... Cause it's all for one and all for love. It's all for love. I think that was the Three Musketeers song from Brian Adams. Was it? Yeah. What, was I was that? I was interlooping music you're missing. Remember Brian? Adams? Yes, yes, very nicely done, sir. Yes. Was that um the Brian Adams Three Musketeers with Kiefer? Charlie Sheen. I think so. And, okay. With, D'Artagnan. With with Tiger Milk and HIV and drugs. Drugs? Was he in? Was he in the iron? Was he in the iron mask for drugs? He was. <laughs> Were you in the tower for drugs? The bishop was really good though. He's always good. so. Did everybody go rah? Yeah, I'm assuming. So about five guys go rah with the arms. With the arms. Rah. Not rah. Rah. No full flapping of the arm oh, wings. Rah. In a old old church. It was an old school church with the old blocks and the stained glass windows right. and. Just, Gothic, yeah, so and everyone's dressed up like in medieval beautiful. attire, as I call it, the Ren Fair wedding. So, how many fatties were there? Uh, f- four. Doesn't sound like a Ren Fair wedding <laughs> to me, bro. <laughs> well, I was one of them. So, <laughs> just to <just> say, <laughs> and that, people. sir, is the pterodactyl porn story. That you better push was seventeen awful. buttons. We will never get that back. That's twenty fucking minutes that no one's gonna listen to. Well, we started seventeen times. That's true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so Abel, I'll, Abel will text me. I'll get a text message in all caps. R R R R R R R R R A A A A A A A. That's all it says. I love it. I fucking hate that guy. I need to go now. Now for real. Um. Well, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. I'm so glad you're not getting a story time for that. I know you're looking at the I buttons, don't give a but shit. you don't get it. You don't get it, man. What we do need, though, is we need we need to remind, remind everybody we're back on video, ladies and gentlemen. We're back on video, ladies and gentlemen. Chris is in charge. Which is probably scary Of the fuck. video back and forth. I was concerned that he would overuse the buttons, just like he would just go like that with everything. Do it, I thought he, do, no, it no. do it again. Do it again. See, this is why you. This is why you're not allowed to have the buttons. Thank you. The buttons are fun. But now you get control of the video. So yeah. when it's all you for three hours and me for three minutes, or all me for three hours and you for three minutes on the fault. next one, I'll take it. I'll take the accountability. I I delegated the responsibility. No, so but I'm, I'm gonna be do my best. And I know I'm, you can do. Awesome. I'm sober and I'm gonna. You know. I love it. Yeah. Well, you're gonna do a great job, man. I I'm concur. Gonna, I'm pre applauding. Yay me. Pre applauds. Pre applaud. So that was our pterodactyl porn. Yeah. But today we're not going to talk about pterodactyl porn. Thank the gods. We Nor did. other porn. Negative. I think we're going to talk about being forlorn. Yeah, sure. Looking off into the distance. Yeah. First of all, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to uh, just give you a quick shout out and thank you for pointing out the Gladiator podcast. 
like uh, that on the on the CTE podcast you mentioned Gladiator podcast put out put out by the Spotlight Department of the Boston Globe. Yes, we are we are today's Wednesday, the November 25th. 25th. We just released we do we record ahead because we don't yeah. do general current events. It's not like we're a news program. We're one month behind events. Right. So we're a month arrears. You see. In arrears, of course. But we talk about topics that are still topical within a month, so that's good. Yeah. CTE concussions, TBI, PTSD yeah. all came up. I mentioned to you because it was released yesterday, the twenty fourth, C our CTE episode, and we yeah. talked about Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. And you brought up that you'd watch the Netflix show. But now you, I had talked about the podcast that actually led to the Netflix show, and the podcast is amazing. So tell me about it. Tell me what your thoughts were on. Uh, we're gonna come. I'm just. I thought it was great. I'm on episode seven of seven. I have about thirty minutes left. It was really. It's really good. I haven't finished it yet. So well, I just wanted to reiterate what you said. That it's. I think it's really worthwhile. It's only about four hours total, four and a half. Yeah, it's about so forty-five really, minutes an episode. So yeah, even and if it's some eight, shorter than that. So I really think it's worthwhile to listen to. Some of the stuff is very in depth, and then maybe in a month or two, you and I can come back and have a longer conversation about. I it. think so. I think in the in the context when you hear Aaron Hernandez, the first thing anyone thinks of, it's kind of like the Michael Jackson effect, right? He's just some monster. He's just a fucking monster, right? And then you put it in context of this show we'll talk about it but it does open your eyes a little bit to the entire picture of what created Aaron Hernandez absolutely and it wasn't just some bad some kid who who went wrong like there were many op many opportunities to to make things better and we didn't or I we, agree they, or whatever well yeah his dad and etc oh, so I yeah we can circle dude. back and 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 you know we can have a long conversation about that I think I'm turning it the You're wrong turning way turning it the wrong way <laughs> Is that making you crazy? Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm we having a new here, stance? Um, but uh, uh, I have, how long have you been on me? Probably uh, like long. a minute and a half. Oh, that's way too long, bro. You're sexy, dude. I wish we could do, I wish you could auto just do it. Just do, it. Just do it. Do it. I got But um, coming out of last weekend, I did not watch a single snap of college football on Saturday. I saw your Twitter. Tweet. Yeah, is that cr I mean your tweet machine? We're talking about a guy who had eleven fantasy football teams one year. Eleven. It's a lot, bro. No, 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 nineteen. Eleven uh, or nineteen? No, it was eleven, but it's still a lot. And now I didn't it is? going from that to not watching a snap. Come a long way. I don't know if it's good long way or bad long way, but it's like I just have zero interest in the. <sighs> It's not barbers. I don't know what the term is, but it's just, I just don't, I'm, it's like the uh, sheen has come off the product. Well, why don't we talk about that later? Okay. Because that's, I agree that, yeah, why don't we circle back on yeah, that? Yeah, we'll circle back when we talk about I agree, it. Because I agree. Because there's, it's, it's become money and a bunch of other stuff yeah, too. So. I like it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a sports thingy, 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 thingy. With G. But today, yes, we're talking about places we wanted to visit. Either yes. man-made or natural, is that correct? Monuments. Monuments or some kind of uh, place, uh, some yes. kind of cool thing that has the kitschiness. Yes. You did surveys? Yes. You had cervezas and then did surveys. Uh, I No, I haven't had a drink in a couple of days. Congratulations. Thank you. Just my dry week, bro. Okay, well, in that vein, so break down what we're going to do today. The survey of the week, my dude. What are the top two monuments to see or visit on your bucket list? Do top two? I thought we did top five. Well, no? I, this was oh, the survey. Okay. You and I could yeah. do whatever the hell, you know. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. To see or visit on your bucket list, they may be man-made or natural anywhere in the world. One example would be Grand Canyon, for example. Is that correct? Absolutely correct, okay. sir. Yes. So I'm assuming you've been. Uh, Well, yeah. Okay. Like f at the bottom four times. Oh, that's right. Oh, you get to, that's your story time. Which one? The the four times. Okay. But it's basically a place we want to go. My story time for our, uh, the Grand Canyon is I've lived in Arizona over 20 years and I've gone once and it wasn't until about two years ago. Okay. So I know a few people like you 44, that 45. That have lived here a long time and never have been. Went to the side that everybody goes to, the touristy side. Did not do anything for me. Not even the littlest. Didn't move the needle at all. I was told that there are some beautiful places in the Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. That you have to go that are not that part. 
You know, because that's just where they can funnel everybody the easiest on the south well, rim. Well, yeah, the south rim, correct. Right. But I've heard the north rim is gorgeous, oh, and I've yeah, heard how much dude. nicer the other. Yeah. This, the one I went to, is a piece of shit. <laughs> it's, it's not a piece. It's like of someone shit. Gets, It's like it's like the Lord took a melon baller and just. <laughs> okay, great, thanks. Like it. it well, I, but I know. would you also state that you're not very, you're not a real naturey person? Yeah. So that could have something to do with it. That could have a lot to do with it. But I've been to Niagara Falls and been like, whoa. Huh. A lot of water. True. Water. I mean, water. Water. <laughs> Obviously, water. So we did surveys. So yeah. I, I I think we should do the surveys for, first. No, sure, right? fuck that. I think I got five from Megzi. What? Yeah, because I thought we did five. I thought we were doing five. Okay, she's allowed five. So... Do you want to start with your uh, quickie surveying? Sure. Who are we starting with today? Miss Heather. Ooh, Heather's going to start today. She said Stonehenge. I like it. Yeah. Because that would be one. really interesting. Who put those stones there and why? And it's my understanding those stones line up astrologically. Like there's alignment and the, it lines with the stars and north, south, east, west, something to that effect. So why? Yeah. I mean, what was the point of all that? You know? There is something about that. Now, it's really challenging because when we talked about aligning with the stars, remember we talked about the earth is on a tilt. Yes. So as it tilt, as it spins, oh, it also wobbles. Remember, so yeah. this procession that it does this on the globe is every 20,000 or 14,000 years, some it's 72 years per degree so 360 years. degrees one degree oh, okay. every 72 years okay and that's where some of these monuments that are man-made are really interesting because if you wind the clock back allegedly they line oh, up to the, that the when they were built when they were built because time does matter in this case because it's a fixed point on the earth but the earth is uh, not fixed is not fixed and it's wobble wobbly wobble wobbly wobbly wobble yeah so anyway all right. I do. I, I can't like see your screen from my camera, by the way. You cannot? I can. What What do you mean? Look, I can see your Google from my screen. Just so oh, you know. Yes. I just wanted you to know that. Oh, how about that? How'd that happen? I, I don't. This is your thing, bro. Bro, this is not. Well, this is not right. <laughs> see, it's the cameras over yeah. there, bro. Well, maybe I'll laptops. maybe I'll say fuck you, man. Maybe. There you go. I no, I don't care if no, you're no, looking fuck at you. if you're looking at pterodactyl porn, dude. I don't care. Rah! But the point is, is that better? I don't care. I, the, the point is, I don't want to see it. So if there were pterodactyls doing it at Stonehenge, I don't want to know. Okay. Okay. I totally get it. Okay. What are you are you beer googling? I'm not Stonehenge? sure what I'm doing. I I. I the have stone tactile. The Stonehenge. I do have Stonehenge pulled up. Okay. Do you have anything to say about Stonehenge? It's a prehistoric monument in w Wiltshire. Wiltshire? In England. In England. Two miles, three kilometers west of Amesbury. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like it's a circle, pretty cool. circle of things. It's rocks and shit. Yeah. But it it's un it's like why? The, basically, they're monoliths, right? And they're yeah. they're just sitting there, and you go. They're chilling. Why? Yeah, that's the that's what I'm interested in is why. Yeah, exactly. So like maybe like maybe if I did that when you put your when you put your video on, is that is that better? You fucking asshole! <laughs> I fucking hate. You. I love you, man. So Stonehenge. Dickface has got pterodactyls on his fucking laptop. For Heather, one I do have pterodactyls on there, but uh, Heather has chosen Stonehenge. A very excellent choice. Did she talk more, did she expound more about just why it's there or anything? Or no. did she just say... She wants to go there. I love Stonehenge. Stonehenge is one of mine as well. Stop it. But I've heard that recently you can't go on it like you used to. It's got, it got so touristy that they... Oh. You need to have like guided tours and some other stuff and pay money and not crackle that. Social Cause, distancing? Cause that picks up on everything. The social distancing on uh, the the pterodactyl Stonehenge. Yeah. Okay. So Heather's first choice is the Henge of Stone. Stonehenge. What's uh What's numero dos? Her second choice is the Great Blue Hole. <gasps> I know where that is. Stop it. That's just that's in Belize. I know. When I beer googled it, I was like, oh shoot, that's where Mark went on vacation. I almost See? did. Gravity, uh, bro. I almost did a uh, scuba diving for that. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, so you need to loosen before you tighten, because if you have it while it's tight, you're just wearing away at the... Metal? Friction that holds it up. Do you know how physics work? No. Or, not very... I'm, this is not going to go well. I'm not very mathy, dude. I... I bought these boom mics to try to get shit out of our way. It seems like they're more in our way. And they're they're lower quality because I paid less for them because we spent so much on equipment of other kinds. Dude, you're not going to do it. It's no, I'm wondering if gravity's taking its hold on it. Gravity. Defying gravity <laughs> and stuff. All right, I think, yeah. Nature. So, uh, what else do you have to say about the Great Blue Hole, sir? Uh, the, the Great Blue what Hole. What is that? It's, it's in Blue Belize. It is a reef. It's actually, I think, it's the largest coral reef on the western hem or the western hemisphere. Isn't it like really? It's not reef. that big, but it's super deep. Something, something like, like, that. like that. Yeah, I could look that up. I'm sure. While we're and I read that it. Jacques Cousteau took his ship, the Calypso, there in 1972 or some shit, and it, they explored on how it's like four different levels and how it used to be above ground, but it flooded many, many, many years ago. Like no shit. Tens of thousands of years ago. That's a long time. Yeah. It's almost like when the ice caps melted, when they had the deluge. Uh, yeah. When well, Noah brought his ark out. The end of the ice age. Yeah. Well, there's, there's points of contention about the ice age. I don't know if we should be eating while doing this, bro. What points what, of what, contention? Me, 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 me. What points of contention? Well, Graham Hancock likes to think that the the deluge, the Noah's Ark story, is because of the there was an asteroid event that melted the polar ice caps in a very rapid fashion, not just like a gradual melting. Okay. So that's what created a huge flood of stuff. I mean, uh, I think it's Fingerprints of the Gods is the book, if I remember correctly. Because we talked about chariots of the gods, but okay, this is fingerprints, and um, they said some of the like mud, like tree trunks were going seventy miles an hour, like not water, but like physical stuff was moving at seventy miles an hour, and that carved out a lot of stuff in the north North America that we. Anyway, wow, yeah, it's very interesting. Holy shit! Yeah, we probably should have one of those. We should probably should have one of those episodes. But, okay, uh, we'll talk about it. Graham Hancock's one of my. I really like that guy. Have you have you seen him on JRE or anything? Um, I think I've seen a couple YouTube things. Nice yeah. guy, nice guy. He's scuba dives as well. Also, also two Tambian. So he's like Jacques Cousteau's grandson. So um, it says other blue holes. Okay, so this one, the deepest blue hole in the world with underwater entrance at two hundred two meters, is Dean's blue hole. That's South China Sea, though. That doesn't really help. It's not the blue hole. This is the one. But the one in Belize is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. It looks like that. I don't know. If did you, you can... see it? Did you go? Yeah, I, 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 I Googled it. But, oh, yeah. So did you see it? I, I did see it, yes. Because when, when you fly from Ambergus Key to the mainland, you see it to your left. You see it off a little okay. bit to the left. Okay, okay. It's pretty cool. Or to the north, I guess, because left would be, depending, would be going to the mainland. Coming back would be on the right. So yeah. Direction so you didn't matter. take a ship out there and I took a big ship. Did you take a boat out there to check no, it out? Did not take a boat out there. Okay. Someday. Someday. Blue hole. Yeah. I love it. It 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 looks really cool. Yeah, looking. it's super like wow. It's I gorgeous. had no idea. Yeah. It's very beautiful. So that's Heather's. So yeah. she wants to go Stonehenge. See. But not get stoned. She just wants She to did not mention uh, getting stoned there. But that does sound apt. Propos does not. It does sound you should be See. stoned at the Stonehenge. Uh -huh. Duh. But not like stoned. Like yeah, don't get stoned, stoned, but get stoned. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. All right. Chocolate Wasted. I'm sorry, I forgot you hate that movie. Bro. <laughs> not today, man. Oh, not sorry. Today. It's been a rough day. So sorry. So what do we what do we got next? Uh, what do we got next? My cousin, Jose Luis, said the Egyptian pyramids. That was a big... That was a big answer on the list. The uh, the ancient pyramids of Giza. Those are the three, correct? C. Outside again, of Cairo. Once again, impossible to get to without help. Like armed guards, like you can't do the stuff that you want to do there. You need to get a tour and go inside. Like just looking at it sounds really awesome, but if you're not going in it, 
and looking at all the cool like shafts and the hieroglyphs and all that stuff, you can't get in there now. The walls like that. that are painted. Yeah. Yeah. The tombs. Absolutely. Yeah, everything. Right. But you need you need like people who know people who know people nowadays because the government they are they are, they're pretty tough. It makes sense though. I mean, people were treading all over it. There's so many tourists, right? Yeah, it's kind of similar to Stonehenge in that respect. But it's I love that. It's a great it's a great answer. I've got that one pulled up as well. What's uh, Jose Luis? You said C. Okay, great pyramids. I did read that there is a global organization that takes care of older monuments to preserve them for future generations so they don't deteriorate any more than they already have. Interesting. And I've read a couple of things, and I, I know that uh, when we're done with the list, I'll mention the ones that are on that list that I read about. I don't know if the pyramids are on that list or not. Okay. But there's a whole bunch of Do you have a list are. here? You have it with uh, me? Yeah, what's oh, on my phone? Yeah, we'll yeah. look at it. Okay, cool. So, yeah. I'd, like to hear, I'd love to hear that. Sure. I think it would be great there's for everyone. There's a whole bunch that are on the list that this organization is making sure that they preserve and make sure they don't fall apart, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Because obviously people trampling around and the natural earth, you know, plants and the earth taking back over what's rightfully it its own is going to destroy what humans have made. Well, have you seen the South America LIDAR stuff? What does that mean? So LIDAR is like laser radar. Okay. So they, they map the ter the terrain oh. and how many actual pyramids and how many structures are grown over in South America. In the, like in the Amazon. Mm -hmm. All the Aztec and all the Mayan type things are all grown over because to your point, the jungle took back, you know, took it back and they, they're still looking for it. But the LIDAR, there's like a whole thing. Let me see if I can find that on there, but, um, it's crazy. Anyway. So to your point, it makes sense. What about protecting them from other humans? These people, do that's they, part of it is that cause they, we're a bunch of pieces of shit. We people do equal shit. That is part of their goal is to protect Th these monuments from the tourists. Hey, make sure you don't touch this. Make sure you stay on this path, that sort of stuff. So that is part of what they do. That is crazy. That's pretty cool, though, that they do that. I would agree. Concur, even? I would also, Tambien, concur. So Jose Luis, number one, is mm -hmm. the Pyramido? Jace. Of the Egypti Egyptos. The Egyptians. All right. Well, do, does Isis show up or Osiris or anybody or maybe Horus? He did not mention any of the Egyptian gods. A little set action? Ra. Ra! 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 No, it's not key. No. Okay. What's his, what's his second place he'd want to go? He said Jerusalem. Oh, it's scary. Well, which I guess is, nowadays it's not as bad. Which is a uh, pretty broad answer, but, you know, I'll allow it. Interesting Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem and not Mecca like uh, Baghdad? Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't ask him. I just drafted his answer right. and then left it at that. I think it's a good answer. I was cur I'd be curious about that because of, uh, let's see how to explain it. Um, you are familiar with Baghdad actually being where civilization started, right? Mecca that is known as Mecca. Yeah. Okay. And that's where technically all the religions and everything spawned or from where Christianity started there. Well, from Judaism, I would assume, you know, eventually, oh, right? So, okay. like, so remember, Judaism well, started the tower, in Baghdad? The Tower of Babel. Babel. Do you remember the whole story about the Tower of Babel? You read the of Bible twice, right? So, <laughs> in Babel, the Babylonian Tower yeah. is when people started speaking in tongues, right? And they couldn't understand each other or whatever. I just like to say Babel. The tower was built, wasn't that built in Baghdad as well, in, in Mecca? I don't know where Babel was. I don't think you need to look it up either. I don't think I need to either. My favorite is an 80s hair metal song called Babylon, because all she does is babble on and on and on and on and on. Shh, what a bitch. Babylon! That was a terrible 80s hair metal impression. There's Babylonian pyramids. Yeah. How about there's that? There's pyramids everywhere, bro. I know. Mesopotamians. They're the, those sons of bitches. Sumerians. Sumerians. Mayans. Mayans, Aztecians. All those peoples built that shit. I know. Uh, Luxor. Right. Those crazy. bastards in Las Vegas. Bastards. That's where I got the black lung, dude. I got the black lung. The last time I was there, everybody got sick in 20, 2015. Dad. I went there I a couple the black lung. I went there a couple weeks ago. It's At the better. Luxor? Uh all of it. 
All, the no, Vegas. all of the Vegas. I went not, all of the Vegas. Not just the black lung. I am still. I still don't know what's going on. This this COVID thing. When I when I there's I think of five of us stayed at the Luxor 2015 2016 2015 whatever a while ago, and I got bronchitis. St- Steve Simpson got chlamydia. C L A media. No, he got strep. Uh, Brooks Jerusalem. got something, not pneumonia, but something else like that. Everybody got sick. So we call it like the Black Death trip. Because we all awful. we all were a disaster. I coughed for three weeks, dude. What? That's the first time I ever got bronchitis because of the Luxor. It was fucked up. Is it because you had to go up at an angle on the yeah, elevator? Yeah, it's because all the walking sideways, the bro. The stangulator, was, or whatever the fuck it's it called. Was very, it was sad, Panda. So, okay, so I'm we still- We all got sick at the, at the Luxor. This Jerusalem thing. Oh, we're back on that. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to close Well, it think about it. If you're a devout Christian or you're or devout, there's every every religion has ties to Jerusalem, right? That's where Jesus went. I thought that's they had ties he, to Mecca. That, well, that's where Jesus was crucified and rose from the dead, and that's where... But the Romans did it to him, right? Oh, yeah. Didn't he, I thought he... See, I didn't know that he was crucified in Jerusalem. Yeah. Well, I thought right, he was, out of the, right out of the city limits. And once again, this is my ignorance. I just assumed they brought they trotted his ass back to Rome and did it there. Oh, no, no, no. Jerusalem. They did it back in the desert where all the stupid fucks were who believed right in it. Right outside okay. of the city. So, oh, sorry. But, was but that see, out loud? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Mute, bro. Mute. Oh, okay. oh sorry. I changed your uh, camera so nobody mind. could see you. I can't you. see that. I was faking that, too, because I wasn't even... <laughs> But every, that's why the West Bank and Gaza Strip and all that, the, the religions are always fighting for that because it's, it literally is the holy land right. to every, well, the main religions of the world Correct. right now. Yeah, it is. Well, part of that, I mean, but the truth about Palestine is they don't want Israel at all. Like well, they right. don't believe that they have, they have any claim to it. So they just right. want to wipe, wipe them off the face of the earth. Right. Except for the new peace accord that was signed, which is interesting. Right. It we shouldn't Hondo be talking court. about politics, bro. That's that's not politics. Peace is about love. Love. What's your everyone. shirt? I'm sorry. What does your shirt say, bro? It doesn't say. Hold on. What is your it, shirt? It reads. It reads. Love every uno. Love everyone, bro. Hello merch. Love everyone. Did I ever tell you the hello merch story? No. The guy who did hello merch. I'm gonna lift it just so you can read it and not show my midriff. There, see nice. the hello there right go. there. Good job. The reason, uh, hello merch.com, H E L L O M E R C H dot com. I believe it was one of the founding members of a group called The Format, who is from Phoenix. And he and the other guy broke up. I mean, they just parted ways. I'm sure they're st- probably still cool. But that guy went to become the lead singer of Fun, the band oh, Fun. Okay. So if you heard Carry On or We Are Young. That's yeah, yeah, the other yeah. guy, the format, and the other guy started Hello Merch. Okay, they're both crushing it in their respective uh, industries. Fantastical. Yeah, and now they're loving everyone and being and now young you got a cool shirt. On. Yeah, I got, got a shirt. Yeah, that that reads love everyone. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. What else we got? Next. So Jerusalem. Yeah, let's do it. As long as there's no bombers in cafes with their fucking bomb jackets. Bomber jackets. Not bomber jackets. Those are cool. Bomb jackets. Yeah, bomber jackets are cool. Uh, fucking yeah. leather with the wool. Fucking yes. Brrr, fucking awesome. B twenty nines and shit. The whole reason we went to Rudolph so we could buy bomber jackets, bro. Yeah, that's true. And I never bought one. I did. Cause I, dude, I weighed three hundred pounds, bro. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Who's who's up next? next uh, my buddy Brian. He said the Grand Canyon the first time is cool. Every time afterwards is just a big hole in the ground. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Did he only go to the south part? Uh, he did not state which rim he went to. Oh. Nor if there was a job there. I, I like the rim. <laughs> Ooh, you snore left. Oh, uh, fucking hate attractive. You. What what was uh, numero dos? All uh, right, he's got numero. a couple here. In the, oh, I, in, bring it, bring it. Yet up. to see, he said, Fiji slash Maldives slash Bali, a basketball game at Cameron Indoor Stadium, the University Very of smart. Duke hmm. in North Carolina. He is a big basketball person, big basketball guy. Loves that shit. I can tell. Do you want to talk about any of those two? We're going to keep I, going. No, we would. I would love to. 
let's buy, let's talk about all of them. Bali. Fiji, Fiji, Bali. Have you been to Fiji? Fuck no. I know people who have gone to Fiji multiple times. Okay. And they've said it's awesome. Yeah. Because it's like a shit ton of islands and you basically walk everywhere. And it's funny because high tide comes in. So sometimes you're walking and it's like at your ankles and then other times it's like waist high or something. Wow. So, But you're walking like from island to island. You just kind of do your own fucking thing and it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's, I've heard great things. It's possible that uh, I might not come back from that be hard for me to do i would be just hey bro you got jobs here can i just uh take the trash out or how's that gonna work can, how do you you're on mute talking bro I, i'd love to take the trash out <laughs> <laughs> now you can mute and open your soda pop okay or not i don't care soda pops yes i would love to go to fiji or the maldives or bali and live in a little hut on the water dude that sounds amazing balls how much beachfront property is there in Fiji? Uh, 17 miles. Okay. I have no idea. Of course you don't know. I know you're full of shit, bro. <laughs> Duh. Fiji sounds like fun, though. I think any island's good, right? I uh, Yeah. I'll be honest. My trip trip to Belize was fucking beautiful, and I'll share it. And that's not that. even an island. It's not even. Well, Amberger's Key is, which is part of, Fiji, or, of Belize, but yes. Sure. There's like two or three islands that are right off of the coast. Okay. So those are the ones on which we frequented. Bitchin'. Stayed, so. Fantastic. Totally awesome. Right. I could see getting island fever, though. What does that mean? You need to get off? Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's like cabin fever, but in an island. Because have you never heard that with uh, Hawaiians? Uh, uh, No. Yeah. So basically, it's like, I've got no place to go. There's nothing to do here, and I can't get away. Uh, do they have a library? Maybe, but can't you still have island fever and have a library? You get cabin fever, and there's a library probably down the street. Yeah, then you drive to the library, you get some books, and you drive home, and you read that shit. Okay. So the cabin fever goes away? Yes, but that's st- correct. Aren't you the stuck library, in the cabin? Isn't the cabin the, the prison, though? The library is the prescription to cabin fever, bro. Only if you can hang out there. La biblioteca. But biblioteca no open. See, si. Biblioteca only you open to pick up a mask. book. No. Yeah. No, they only do pickups and drop-offs, bro. What? For real? Yeah. I didn't know that. And South Mountain, South Library, South Mountain's not even open. It's the what? only one that's not. It's close to one right here. Wow. So it's right away from the treehouse. What? Yes. I heard Disneyland's closed the rest of the year, bro. What about the world? Disney, Disney world. world. I'm not sure of that. Because it's Florida, they're open all the fucking time. They do not <laughs> give a fuck. You know, like COVID, huh? What do you I mean just, COVID? What I heard they mean? found a 20 foot fucking python in fucking Florida. It was like thick like a fucking human torso thigh. Wow. What they, what did they do with this? They captured it or something. But and then still, did they uh, have snake tacos? They had pterodactyl sex with oh, them. Fuck you. Ah! God, I'm so stupid. Anything else? On I the didn't mall? set you up for that. That wasn't I'm, a whole. But I'm dumb for bringing it up. For I don't even know how, why I said yeah. it or how it came up or whatever. Um, Maldives. The Maldives. The I, I know nothing about the Maldives. Nor it's the probably down there, but with the Fiji. I'm curious how um, our friend uh, Craig's doing in Indonesia. I'm also Tambian curious. Indonesia is a lot of islands as well, and they've got a pretty decent population. 20 what, million or something? Like total? 238 million or 238. something. 238. God damn. It's big you number. told me that. I and did. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. Yeah. I didn't even think it was a million, dude. I was shocked. Like electrically? Yeah. I got electroshock therapy. Indonesia, po- yeah, population 267.7 million. I was off by 30 million. Million. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. 2018. That's a lot. I would never have guessed Indonesia as that many people. I would agree. Who the fuck's Indonesia? And I don't mean that in any disrespect. I, I just mean like, what the fuck's in Indonesia? I don't even know what the capital is, dude. Um, shit. Indonesia City. Sure. I would not be knowing. New, New Guinea? New uh, Guinea? No, That's a country. Uh, I know. Well, I'm not worried about it, dude. I don't want to know either. Capital, largest city. Jakarta, bro. You should Jakarta. Known. Yeah, because Maiden plays there. Duh. Oh, live from Budokan. Sorry, yeah. I'm thinking cheap trick. I want Shh. you to want me. Live from Budokan. Moving on to a basketball game at the University of Duke. Yes. What do you got on that? Um, that is definitely a man-made structure. And it holds, is? I totally get going to a sporting event of psychotic 
totally tribal morons. I Epic totally proportions. Get it. I totally get tribalism. But for me, that does nothing for me. Anymore. No, basketball never did. Say like NCAA basketball never really moved the needle other than like upsets. I just want to see upsets in the sweet sixteen or oh, whatever. Okay. Like Gonzaga's and shit. Yeah. Well, when Nova beat Georgetown in eighty five, first of all, being from Philly over there was <laughs> huge. And then Patrick Ewan losing again over there from Georgetown. And then he got the number one pick with the with the fake lottery that they did with the cold envelope. With Nick, the Knicks. Yeah, the Knicks. You never heard about that? That was the first year they did the lottery thing. And there's there's a conspiracy theory behind that. Did you know that? I, I don't know, and I, I'm good. I don't need, really want to oh, know. Oh, no, you do need to know. Because this is about, we, we always talk about systems, sir. Who, Go ahead. Can you, you can, you can, I want to see your eye roll on the video. Here, as, as I tell you this boring story, you can do that. Okay, so what happened is, um, allegedly, somehow the Knicks got the first pick, and they got Patrick fucking Ewing. By pulling a letter out of like the tumbler thing, you know, the bingo ball thing. Yeah. But they think that he shuffled around and try, they froze the envelope and he felt around feeling the cold one and grabbed it. They also think that it was like earmarked so he could tell which one was the Knicks envelope. Okay. Cause they, cause they, they wanted the Knicks to get Patrick Ewing. Correct. Because Why? Nick, they're a he, New York team. Well, they're the number one team in, or it was like the number one player in a long time. He was like the best center coming out for in the last couple of years because it was like 85 86 yeah jordan was obviously 82 83 something like that right? yeah so they and it was the knicks they needed a they needed they the, needed the knicks to be a good team they need a poster child for their own for the good. nba right the nba drove that back then it was big cities right that drove yeah, 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 yeah like little towns because no one watched nobody watched salt lake or atlanta the, right no one watched the utah jazz correct in the fucking nba or finals. The clippers. no one gave a shit right yeah. no one well the clippers are at least la well, so san diego could, in 85. Okay. So, yes, at that point, they would not have been. Correct. Yeah. Right. Or like, in, you know, Indiana Pace. Like, yeah. they didn't have national. Correct. New York obviously has national. Correct. The it was Lakers, Chicago, Knicks, LA, New York. Chicago, right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And Ewing, I don't think, won a single one, right? Didn't win a single championship? I don't believe and so. And I think he won only one NCAA, if that. I don't think he actually did. I think he only went to the final one. He's a big dude. He should. He, he reminds me of the guy who had it all and just never had it. There are guys, Peyton Manning is very much a guy who had a lot of the skill. Yes, he won two Super Bowls, but yeah, I mean, should it took a should've. long time for him to do yeah, that? Yeah, and it took defenses and it took other things on his team, not just him throwing the ball, right? Well, and didn't it take him leaving Indianapolis and going to Denver to do it? He won once with Indy. He did? Against Chicago, because yeah. Chicago. That sure. was the, I think it's 2000, The Prince in Miami. Halftime show. Sure. 2015, 14, something like that. Regardless, uh, irregardless and unregardless. Of them all. Um, Peyton Manning was a really talented player, but he never really won the big game in college. He always lost to Florida. Well, yeah, but Tennessee was never great except yes, for one were. year. No, they were great. They they won the year, the year after he left, they won the, the national championship. Really? Yeah. With, with the other quarterback guy. Who was not a really good quarterback? The other quarterback it was either guy. one or two years after his he left. They had won. Okay, but the point is, it's kind of like okay, who do you who do you think is a better player, Eli or Peyton? Obviously, Peyton. Right. They have the same number of Super Bowls. Right. What I mean. So that just shows you who you surround yourself with. I think it tells you about how much more a team matters than a single player. Absolutely. And sometimes right. a single player can actually hurt you. Well, possibly yes. In some cases. Yeah. Sometimes like scoring quickly. Oh yeah, that your could defense be is tired because they're always on the on the thing. Yeah, so, anyway. Totally. So, Cam, what are your thoughts about Cameron? Uh, I, I didn't even know what that was until he said it was Duke. Was what do like, you think oh, about that? I'm not into college basketball. I never have been. So that pros pros that's probably because I'm from the West Coast and and I didn't like UCLA and UCLA is the well and Arizona are the only two West Coast basketball powerhouses ever. So I don't give a shit. Really? Well, well, I get that, but on a grander scale, on a in a bigger like a fifty thousand foot level, yeah, is there My a sporting expression. event that you think would be like worthy of that kind of thing for you? Uh, yeah, like Game Seven of World Series for sure. Dodgers Yankees at Dodger Stadium. Oh, that'd be interesting. You know, absolutely. Okay. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, USC in a national championship game. Mine would be Stanley Cup. Yeah, Game Seven, of course. Overtime. Oh fuck yeah! 
Shootout? Sudden death. No, it's, there's no shootout, bro. They play all the time oh, to really? the score. That's awesome. I did not know that. So in the regular season, they've got it down to three on three in overtime. So wow. this is what happens. they got five players and the goalie. Regular regular time. Yeah. Overtime for five minutes in a regular season is three on three with the goalie. So it's a lot more open. Yeah. And then it goes to shootout. In the playoffs, stays five on five with the goalies, and it's first team that scores. So you so had five, sudden... six overtimes. Okay. So you could play like three and a half games, two and a half games. How many games? Three and a half. Three. Two and a half. Three years. Three games. Three games. Three games. <laughs> Um, I think the one of the longer ones was like five, six overtime. So it's, I've been up till 2 a.m. before watching a game. That's stupid. Flyers, Penguins, fifth overtime, oh, Wayne Primo goal. But when you score, it's just like, I mean, come on, pandemonium yeah. game. Imagine a game seven sudden death. I mean, nothing in my opinion. Yeah. Because even football doesn't have that sudden death vibe other than scoring a touchdown on the first drive in overtime, which makes no fucking sense to me. It if it, it feels like in the Super Bowl you should play a full you should play a quarter at a time. And and whoever, you know, if you if someone's leading at the end of a quarter, fifteen minutes, then you call it. But keep playing because it's the last game of the fucking year. You know what I mean? Like, what are you gonna play after that? So you should it should mean more. I I'm agree. Not, not a big fan of the overtime rules. I agree. But anyway. So that would be for you. How yeah. about Super Bowl? Anything with that? Just just because Super Bowl is a Super Bowl, like uh, fanfare or anything. Uh, no, I mean, it used to be, but I, you know, I, I stopped watching NFL, okay. you know, almost 20 years ago. So, um, and it's very corporate, right? Yeah. So it doesn't have the fan like uh, craziness. You know, I did go, I went to a Super Bowl a couple years ago. What? Here in Phoenix. You went to the actual game? Seahawks, Patriots. You went to that? I went to the actual game. I did. You never mentioned that to me. Uh, I'm sorry. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, All of those are incorrect, except for fuck I'm off. sorry. I'm, so, uh, probably I'm sorry. I'm fuck off is probably the correct, sorry. the correct response. Yeah. Sorry. I went to Super Bowl. You know what I'm really happy about this podcast? What's that? It's going to be released on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> I happy birthday, ahead. Jesus. Happy birthday, Jesus. Well, I'm just saying, like, no one's going to listen. Well, why don't we just change the release date? No, that's what's great about it, because this seems like a trash one. But you said that the other I'm time, too, when we did the best dad jokes. The best dad jokes are funny. What does a witch's car sound? Broom, <laughs> Drew Brees. So okay. my the the the, 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 the game halftime seven. show at the Super Bowl was um that dumb ding dong that narrows it down, doesn't it? I don't know her fucking name. The brunette with the big boobs, Katy Perry. Yes, and she comes out on that big lion. Yeah, I was like, this is cooler than the game. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool. It was crazy. I will admit that and was then a decent Missy misdemeanor. Elliot comes out and fucking ruined it. I was like, ah, oh, poop. <laughs> like whatever. Like Katie didn't. Yeah, it was, and it's all lip syncing, you know. So is whatever. it lip syncing? I, I don't know. I, I'm asking. I, yes. Prince played live, bro, in the rain. In purple rain. He played purple rain. Purple to close haze. It out. It's one of my favorite halftime shows. Purple of all, haze of all Super Bowls. That is probably one of the most underrated and probably the best. It was fucking pouring rain, and he was like, fuck it. I didn't know he was that good This of a is the first player. time people get to see you play air guitar, bro. Yes, that's amazing. I think, did no one see it in any other videos? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because Checkmark always plays air guitar. Well, that's correct. And you, you've never guitar. seen it on video before. Well, that's great. Well, that's now great. I'm, now I'm done. No. My one but, Super Bowl story is the fact that I, I didn't, I don't care about football that much but i was like okay i gotta we have the chance to go to one this is it i'm never gonna get this chance again right had the opportunity to buy tickets got the tickets how did you do that you didn't get through work or something no because my ex-wife knew somebody that works for the cardinals that's what it was so she's like you want the tickets i'm like yeah like this is a once in a lifetime thing where i'm never gonna get this chance again so it is definitely a bucket list yeah thing because so it was cool. you don't get opportunities it was cool and it was a, you know like the fucking the seahawks that was that fourth down the interception in the, and it was crazy Malcolm right Brown. so it was cool yep. um but the coolest part was that i'm not a fan of either team right so what did i do i wore my iron maiden jersey maiden on the front and it's thick and awesome and it's got the trooper on the back and i got more props on my fucking jersey than from both fans, like 
Bro. Bro. What? We did one on rules and etiquette of sporting events. I know. You can't. I know. Oh. It's amazing, dude. I, I am did crawling it. out of my skin right now as we speak. But I didn't give a shit. <laughs> dude, this guy, two seats from me, was like 6'4", 255. He was like a fucking tank. He goes, hey, man, that's a great fucking jersey. That might be the best fucking jersey in this whole place. Have a good day. <laughs> it was, it was Have fucking, a nice day. It was fucking rad, was dude. It, was the number 666 on the back? No, the it, just has, it, has this, it has my tattoo on it. Oh, okay. It no, jersey, no jersey No number. number. No number. So it's Unfortunate. <laughs> but also breaking the rules beyond. I thought we had rules about this. Uh, and we here did, you are just, we you did, shat on them. But I, I judged them. You just, <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just dropped trowel and I took a big shit on top of just our rules. Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if we had the rules yet, but I think Valvoline at hockey game was way before it that was. fucking The was. point then, after the game was over, right in front of us, a Patriots fan and a Seahawks fan started, they started to fight, and I was like, oh, fuck. So I kind of like stepped in front of my ex-wife and was like, all right, <sighs> some shit's going to go down. <laughs> I've been to Stanley Cup playoffs, not the Stanley Cup finals, unfortunately, yeah. but the playoffs, Detroit and Arizona at the time. And the stupid motherfuckers who get in fights in the concourse, some dude hit a woman because he missed the dude he was trying to hit. <laughs> He's like, Ugh! and he like gets out of the way and chick is just cold cocked. And you're like, oh, fuck. This is bad. People are just dumb. Yeah. They okay. Are. So sports, Cameron Field. Yeah, I totally get basketball, but like, I would think like a fine. Wouldn't you want to be in the fine the final game, like, of the tournament? Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah, feel yeah. like that would be even more. Now that like the atmosphere of du a Duke basketball game. Yeah, because they're a, there's an, they're right. a, iconic. That, right, team. and they have to play like North Carolina or somebody huge. Yeah. Like huge. Their, who's their who's their biggest rival? I would think North Carolina because they're both in Carolina, right? Cor Duke, I would think so, and they're both in the ACC. Yeah, and and I think Kentucky. Or like, what up if there. Notre Dame's now in the ACC? What if they're both ranked in the top five? Yeah, Notre you Dame know, would be one. Kentucky would probably be another. The I other would one think just so. Cause yes, because of California. Well, and Florida just won the national title a couple of times, so sure. you know. I don't even know, man. Florida. I don't even know sports. All right, sports. you want to move on? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Next, roll up the windows. Brian man. said. Dive. Oh, Brian, Brian. Bri Brian said, dive with great white sharks in Guadalupe. I, I was like, uh. Chain mail or cage? He did not say. <laughs> I was like, neither, motherfucker. I would do the cage, for sure. You would do the cage? Yeah, the cage. And I the cage has the tube that comes down, so you're not wearing a tank? No, no, you're completely submerged with scuba gear. Okay. And there are two ways, I think. I think they've got rebreathers from the top, but I, I would do the scuba in a suit in a cage. With the chain mail. Yeah, I'd wear the chain mail. And, and, <laughs> and a shield. And a And a sword. And a sword. And then your horse I'd would get be... the mountain. I'd, I'd be like, excuse me, Mr. Mountain, would you yeah. like to do a scuba dive yes. with me? And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and you have a horse, and your horse would be all armored. <laughs> I would love to Mr. go to school and try to be with you. I'm the Mountain. <laughs> I'd be like, down, you call him a cunt. <laughs> yeah, uh. fuck that, dude. Zhuzh it. Zhuzh it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, so that would be cool. What are your thoughts on that? Fuck that. No, fuck no. sharks, bro. I swam with sharks. Uh, what do you want, a cookie? I scuba dove with sharks. Did not see a, a hammerhead. But we were in the area of the lair of a hammerhead. An area of the lair. They're very territorial. Of the hammerhead. Yeah, so were they napping? I just didn't see them. They were, they were probably out hunting. But, you know, swimming with like nurse sharks, big deal. I've done I've done snorkeling. They're they're vegetarians. They don't eat you. <laughs> their mouth their mouth are actually in the back. Like their teeth on the nurse shark is like back here. Like back. So how so do you they... have to stick your arm in? Because they just uh, suck things up. Like like Krill and shit. Yeah, well, not krill because they're vegetarian, so it's just plankton oh, or uh, okay. like leaves kelp. and shit. Yeah, kelp and all that shit. Okay. But you, you can get bit, but you have to like stick your arm in their mouth, whereas obviously the other one's like the mouth comes to you. <laughs> You're like, get the fuck away. Holy fuck, dude. You need a bigger boat. Is yeah. Uh, what's the worst fishing? That is the fishing trip of 2020, bro. All right, let's do it. Next. That's a new kind of SARS. Yeah. Jaws. 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 Jaws 19. <laughs> J19, bro. Jaws Cove. Next, two. he said Australia. 
all of it, from beaches to kangaroos. I like that. That outback is a huge fucking landmass. You don't uh, even think about how big that is. Yeah, until. days and days and days of driving. I wonder if you want to go to it now that it's all burn up, burnt. Like, and I don't mean like any lightness with that. I just mean like I wonder what it what it looks like. As the whole brush burned down, I would like it was nasty, right? That that those fires were. Yes, very, 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 very bad. Very bad. Also Tamian bad. Also Tamian horrible. Muy malo. Yeah, so Brian gave us... Uh, many answers. Let's get those answers again, please, we if we could. Fiji, Maldives, Bali, a basketball game at the Cameron Indoor Stadium at Duke University. Dive with great white sharks in Guadalupe, just north of Tempe. Why wouldn't he... <laughs> Why wouldn't he go to the Great Barrier Reef and do it there? I don't know, bro. Maybe he's got he's a card on for the, Guadalupe. Maybe he's already in, but he's already in Australia, bro. He wants two trips. Okay, that's that's smart. Two Australia, vacations. all of it from beaches to kangaroos. He had one final answer. I thought he said I would have. If I were him, I would have said all Australia from beaches to bitches. That's ironic. You said that. His last no answer. Way. Also, scores in New York. Just want to see, <laughs> just want to see a real strip club. Ha ha. Oh, then he's going to the wrong place. He needs to go to Mont Venus or the place in Quebec. Uh, I think Mont Venus is in Quebec, but there's one in Florida in Jacksonville as well. That's why is that better than scores? Because I've I? heard good things about the Quebecian. Montreal has great strip club. We, we, they let you wee wee and poo poo on them. <laughs> oh, God. That was a bad joke. That was bad. But I'm going to do this while we're speaking. I'm going to say best. Don't do it. Strip club. And we'll, we'll see what comes up. Don't do it, man. Bro, that's You know, I've been point. to scores in New York, right? No, tell me. Yeah, in 1999. I have never been, so please tell <laughs> oh, me. Shit, I went with an old girlfriend and, uh, and uh, a buddy of mine, Matt, and went to scores in New York City like on a Sunday night. And I ordered three Jack and Cokes. And he goes... $36. Welcome to Scores. <laughs> and that was in 1999, Holy dude. Holy shit. So they're like 21 bucks? years ago. So think, what's the rate of inflation on Jack Daniels? Bucks. Are they $24 now a piece? Jeez, it's got to be double. Uh, right? It's got to be. It has it's to be. be double, and right? it wasn't even that, like, it was a Sunday night. So obviously, what is the B team there? Maybe the C team? I don't know what the rotation is, right? But I'm like, uh, <laughs> it that wasn't. That sounds like I, a lot of fucking money. Yeah, 36 bucks. But it wasn't overly impressive. It wasn't like, oh my God, this is the best strip club ever. You know what I mean? Right, because so. it's kind of like the name. It's like you yeah. want to go to Pat's and Gino's for cheesesteak. Yeah, but it, I, I mean, we Steve's went. is the best. We went, we had a drink, and we left. It was very uneventful and lame. And I would have been disappointed. Yeah. I've been to Spearmint Rhino in Vegas. Me too. There's a score in Vegas, too. There's a scores in Vegas, okay. but I haven't been to that. Spearmint Vi Rhino is very un disappointed. I agree. I heard so many good things Me about too. that. But maybe I'm just old now and my wee wee don't work the way it used to. I don't know. Sure. What are you looking up? I looked up uh, Yelp has the top 10 uh, Montreal. Chez Paris. Oh. Cafe Cleopatra. Club Dantan. Kama Sutra Club. Stock Bar. Cabaret Kingdom. Connect de Montreal. Why? Are, are you Wanda. sure they're all pronounced in French like that? Well, it's in Quebec. Isn't there is, an English non-French area of this city? I'm sure there is, but they don't wee wee and poo poo, bro. Why would you not want to wee wee and poo poo? If you're look, when in when in wee wee and poo poo? When in Quebec, you when should. In, when, when in, in Montreal, Quebec, wee wee and poo poo. When in Montreal, you, les habitants. All right, strip club scores. Got Next, it. that's not the one. I, there's got to be one better than that. You think? Let's let's not dwell on this. Yeah, I'm not going to dwell. I mean, I don't really. You're dwelling. I don't have the singles to go. They're Nor fives the now, five. bro. Nor do I have the fives, the tens, the twenties, the hundreds, the thousands. I could not afford. I don't think I could afford a trip to the Strip anymore. In Montreal or in Anywhere. Vegas? Okay. Even like down the street, even at the ABC. <laughs> <laughs> That's Alaskan Bush Company for you people who don't know. Anyway. I haven't been there since 94 or something. Mm -hmm. Favorite part of that Strip Club is at the end of every school year, the marquee gets updated to now hiring the class of. Oh, shit. And it's the fucking high schoolers. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, that's horrible. I love it. At least it's not now hiring the high school, like the junior high people. I get it. But anyway. What do you got Moving next? Moving on. Georgia boy number one. 
His first response was the Great Wall of China. I like that one. I think you went back to me too soon. I think you're... So I what about... Love. Tell me about the Great Wall of China, sir. It's in China, and it's great. Back to you, Chuck And it's Mark. a wall. And it's a wall. Also, Duh. Tambien. Have you been? And I've never been to China, bro. I've never been to Asia. Ave never started with land war in <laughs> Asia. Death is on the line. I've never been to Asia, bro. That's interesting. None, none of the Asias? Uh, ne- there's only one, and I've never been to it. Have you been inside an Asian? Uh, person. I'm sorry. Person of Asian descent. N- n- no. Neither have I. Are we? This fucking. <laughs> is this another podcast where we say, uh, yeah, don't listen to this one either? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> well, first of all, it's not happening because I'm in love with Megzi. So. Well, no shit. You know that. But I have told her I do find the Asian legs nice as a as a general evolutionary body part. Okay. I mean, it's kind of stereotypical, but guess what? Stereotypes are there for a reason. Like many Asian legs are beautiful. Do you have anything to say about the Great Wall of China? <laughs> it keeps there's me away a lot from of nice Asians. Asian legs on it. Uh, no, uh, yes, nice Asian legs are walking on it all the time. Um, it it can be seen from space. I heard. Yes. And it's really it sounds long. like a huge feat. Like it sounds just. I, what's crazy is like a wall kept people out, whereas nowadays you could just get a helicopter and go. So if the Mongolians had a helicopter, it'd be over. All it would matter that there was a great wall. It would not matter. It would not matter. Give me Mongolians. Why wreck my shitty wall? A kite, hang glider. It would be a big a dirigible. Climb. Yeah, if they had a freaking, as long as the winds, if they had a blimp, as long as the winds blow in the correct direction towards correct. the wall, not away from a it. hot air balloon. Whatever. Oh, we got in. We got in this dirigible, man. We're gonna we're gonna invade. Oh, the winds blowing. Oh, uh, hey, cancel we're, tomorrow. We're bro. now in Austria. Yes, shit. Poop. We're in Nepal. Shit. What the fuck are we gonna do in Nepal now? I, I, I don't Talk know. Talk to the Dalai Lama yes, for God's sake. Hang sakes. out with the with the monks, bro. I think so. That's what I would do. Yep. Um, I think it's an awesome. I, it just. I feel like it sounds like an amazing place to say I went to. Yeah. But once I got there, I just be like, okay, this thing's long and I don't really want to walk it, drive it or bicycle it. So I'm good. So where's right. the turtle soup? Ooh, that sounds good. More snapper turtle soup. Boom. It's delicious. Yeah. Okay. What do we got next? Next. Christ, the redeemer in Brazil. Is that that fucking dude? That's this that's guy? the fucking dude. Up what, on are you going to climb up on it? What? Well, you stand at the bottom and you take a picture and you you stand at the bottom and you take a, you take a picture, take a selfie. I don't know, dude. It's the big Jesus. It literally is the big guy. Did they ever say why? On no. That one? No, no, no. These motherfuckers with their religious institutions. Dude, what? With Judgey Judgerson. I'm just kidding, man. Fucker. I really, I really think that's awesome. I, How'd they get that fucker up there? Isn't there some lore about they don't even know how it got there or something? Uh, or was it, like it was a crane, dude. I don't know. Like the fucking bird? That's a strong fucking bird. Like, was it like a pterodactyl crane? Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that they only have two, or do they have? A yes, that was all from Georgia Boy Number One. Georgia Boy. Oh, GB. Okay. Are we are we using the correct? order of them no, again, they're all, they all fucked over up. the place again? whoever responds first is gb1 is gb1 thank you who and who was this gb1 uh i'm not i cannot name names sir okay we're not gonna this them. gb1 was sir ralphus that's what i call him so ralph sir ralphus so ralph correct okay so george boy number two dose the georgia guide stones Tell me about these. I don't the, fucking know. You have the goggle. You have the beer Googles, my bro. All right. Well, this is what's going to ah, happen. Let's fall over my chair. We're going to we're going to remove the Montreal Strip Club. <laughs> <we're gonna> go. <laughs> don't ever remove that, sir. And these are not Georgia in like Georgia, Russia. I, I don't know. You're going to find out. Guide stone there. Oh, monument in Elberton, Georgia. Is that in the state the of Georgia? Georgia guide stones are a granite monument erected in 1980. Get the fuck out of here. 19, it's fucking 40 years old. You got fucking monoliths from thousands of fucking years ago. Are and you you're going to go to f- with me? You're going to go 40 years ago? Yeah. You're gonna f- yeah. Fuck that. Okay. Would his you like to see answer, how stupid this fucking His second picture? answer was look amazing. That fucking thing. Is this look, what is, what, does that look like anything to you? Uh, Can you see it? 
<laughs> oh, you know uh, what I should do? I should HDMI into that third port. And then you we'll, should. We'll do ooh, it sometime. was that again? Third port. That's hot, bro. I think we might. Don't be worry about it. Okay. Next, he said Chernobyl. Now, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Chernobyl. That's a good answer, dude. Nobody else said Chernobyl. It's still radioactive, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Say it's not. Well, have you? We've we talked about that. A yeah. Little bit, right. Like how the wildlife it, has gone crazy isn't now. Isn't it how? But if it is it, are there like like rabbits and shit and yeah, foxes? Like, but and there's like two headed fucking animals and shit. There's so, some weird shit going on, but it's not totally crazy. But can you go there for like a couple of hours and not get like? I don't know. Does it matter for this fictional conversation? I think it does matter. Why? Because you can't visit it if you can't go. What? But it's <laughs> maybe let's say in five years will it no longer be? No, isn't it like a half life of like ten thousand fucking years? I and don't shit? know, dude. How long can one stay? Okay, the ruins of Chernobyl reactor, now contained under a metal shell, are still highly radioactive and will likely remain so for up to one hundred years. Twenty. Thousand years. Thousand years. Well, poop. Twenty thousand years. So, well, that's under the. Is Chernobyl safe? What travelers need to know. Yes, please tell Ooh. me. When and will it be safe? Well, we've got COVID going on, so you're not going to exactly be safe then. So, do you have to wear your mask at Chernobyl? Wow. Hey, where'd you get COVID at Chernobyl? These people's insurance plans do not cover exposure to radiation. Okay. So don't if you're going to do it, don't do it through these jack jackholes. Jack. <laughs> To enter the exclusion zone, you'll need a day pass, which is only available from certain established tours and must be applied 10 days in advance. So I guess you can go for a day. But is that, I mean, can you die? I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Would I, you not be knowing? I, I'm should we move along? We should I move think along. Chernobyl is a great fucking answer. I think it's a. It is totally awesome in a we in a very dystopian, Amazing weird fuck, way, in a really twisted way, though, isn't it? I mean, but just think about all the the all the goddamn. Think about all the plants and shit that have come back there. You know, I think that's awesome. The only reason the plants have come back is we fucking got out of the way. Hey, I I know, but isn't that cool? It's in the back, bro. It's very cool. I'm gonna help you. Yeah, please. Um, I agree with you. That is totally awesome in its own cool way. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So check it out, bro. It's not working. He's not working. Yeah. Is it a small one? No. Is it just not fitting or what? There you go. Oh, there we go. Hey, Mira. Okay. Let's Camera see three, this... bitches. Does it work? Yeah, hit, hit I see it. Oh. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Well, I was just going to show you pictures of this Georgia thing. Oh. Georgia. Oh, do are we back on Chernobyl? No, no, well, no it's fine, dude. Whatever. Well, I was just going to show you what this Georgia thing looks like. It, can you publish this on YouTube because you're using the beer Googles? I don't know if I can, if we're allowed to do this, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Should I get off of it? Well, I was going to go to just a picture and go to images. And I'm sure many of these are copyrighted. But this is the, this is the monolith thing in Georgia. That's kind of cool. It looks cool, but you know, there's. I, I will talk about some other man-made ones because this made me think of one right away. Okay, but uh, that's that. Uh, Chernobyl, their wild, their their wildlife is crazy now, but I think it's because we're out of the way. I agree. I think that's why I would want to go there. Is because it's been untouched by humans thirty for thirty five years. Thirty five now, Jeez. something Was like 85? that. Eighty five? I don't know. No, yeah, what, is eighty six, eighty four? Right? Eighty six. Oh, that's a bad year. You had you had Columbia. It was a bad year. Columbia. Was it Columbia or Challenger? Challenger. Shh. Challenger was 86. Columbia came down late later when it was yeah. flew over Texas Correct. and burned and bur up. Correct. Broke apart. Yeah. That was <laughs> fucked up. Did you ever watch that video? Yeah, I did. Imagine those people screaming in that fucking thing. You ready? I wonder, I wonder if they have like a gu a single gun in like in that you can like stowed away in the thing. Is like if you know you're gonna burn up, just fucking end it. Just. Poof. So you don't have to uh, but burn up. W wouldn't burning up happen pretty quick? You know, like yeah, I guess it 10 would burn I seconds. Know. I really don't know. I've heard stories about people. It's when people like catch on fire. It's like 
their nerve endings burn off so they yeah. don't feel anything after x amount but how excruciating is the first part of that? oh really terrible but burning at the stake and burning up in a fucking space shuttle are Two totally different, different things. things true and this is a bad conversation bro it's a really horrible conversation this let's is, get back to chernobyl so anyway. which is so much lighthearted <laughs> so much more lighthearted George hey, i want to go to fukushima too while we're at it who uh pterodactyl Fuku. Fukushima. Hi. Hi. so george boy number three yes. said quote the motherland calls in volograd volgograd he's comes from russian descent v-o-l-g-o-g-r-a-d volgograd okay the what motherland calls hmm. i think that's a thing well why don't we find the fuck out okay should i press number three or not no we're gonna stay on you because you're much hey. oh, you're in motherland volgograd boom motherland calls what's that well here's some photos okay go ahead go ahead wow that's there. cool it does look pretty cool but yeah that's pretty cool yeah mm -hmm. that's uh it's like a chick with a sword that's amazing that's pretty cool oh look at that thing wow show that picture don't tell is me what on, to do is it on is it on three it's on three now okay that's oh, oh wow. that it, that does look pretty cool look at that gun so is that actually in Russia or is that a different province or whatever? Good question. You might want to get off that while we're, because we screwed off, screwed up. Motherland Calls is Compositional Center of Monument Ensemble Heroes of the Battle of Stalingrad. Okay. On Maimev Kurgan in Volgograd, Russia. Totally makes sense. Yeah. Stalingrad, that's, that's got to be World War II. Yeah. Um, did you ever hear that, the, where Hitler really fucked up on that one? No. They were going to go to Moscow. Yeah. And Stalin was obviously the leader of the Russian of Russia. And Stalingrad. Right. Yeah. And they had a city called Stalingrad. Yeah. Named after Stalin. That guy. Yeah. Instead of going to Moscow, Hitler's fucking ego got in the way. He's like, I want the city with the guy's fucking name on it. What a dipshit. So he fucking he moved all his guys there, but Hit, uh Stalin had already moved everybody there. So he just ran into a fucking buzzsaw. And that probably single handedly turned really turned the tide of the war. Wow, he could he probably could have taken Moscow, probably. But if you took Moscow, then you, all you have to do is defend it. It's much easier to defend yeah. property than it is to take it. Yeah. So imagine once it was secure, what they could have brought in. Yeah. And really locked it down with aircraft. You can bring in supplies. Right. right. And you can drop shit, airdrop yeah, all that shit. Yeah. So there's a lot of stories about that. Yeah. But that does look really cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's funny because Russia talks about how much, you know, we talk about America's, America may have ended the war. Yeah. But we well, Russia, were nothing in it. Was, it was fucking Hitler's fault for invading Russia in the first place. Yeah, the Eastern Front. That was Front. dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just be, be friends with him and shut the fuck up. Well, two problems with that. One, well, one, well, one of them was he was, they weren't friends from the beginning. Well, the no shit, but don't antagonize him. But your mm. ego is too big. Right. But part of that too was they went in thinking it would only take a couple months. So they went in with their summer gear oh, and yeah. then winter in Russia. That was dumb. Uh, that was not smart. Uh, that's They thought wrong, bro. <sighs> Hitler was on too much fucking meth. Too much meth, bro. That dude is just way too much meth, bro. You want me to go back to you? No, no, Do no, the no, thing. No. no, no, no. Do the Rocky Rocky. No. Next. Okay. On Georgia Boy 16,825,000 people died in Russia. 16,800,000. China also lost an astounding 20 million people. How did, what? How did China lose that many? 15% of its population wow. of Russia died in World War II. Think about that. That's excessive, bro. 15%. That is a huge number. And we talk about, we lost, what, half a million, million? We're like, oh, we, we uh, suck. Or we're heroes Yeah, or it was about half a million. Yeah. 450, I think it was. How crazy is that? Anyway, it's just... George Boy 3 also said yeah. St. Basil's Cathedral? I, don't, I, don't, I think it's Basil. I, yeah, I, I, I didn't think I was pronouncing it correctly. But if, I, if it's British, it's Basil. No, it's in Russia. I believe it's the cathedral. Oh, like the basilica kind yes, of? Yes, like I believe it's like the that. cathedral in Red Square. Ooh, St. Basil Cathedral? Sure. St. Basil's Church, how about that? Sure. It's not in... 
California. It's not here anymore. Oh, there it is. That'll yeah, do it. it's the, it's obviously Russian. Hello. Do you want to switch over to that? Bad yeah, boy? sure. Here's fuck a it. picture. Oh, join our mailing list. I would love to. Oh, man. Look, look how pretty. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's Red Square, right? I think it is. I think it's the center of Moscow, right? Yeah. Isn't that kind of the whole? I will say the architecture of of uh, religious monuments. Sure. I mean, because they had all that money that they got from people to build them. Religious um, tax. It's amazing. 10% of your tithing, right? Isn't that sure. fucking crazy? Psycho. Anyway, so we are out of that. And uh, we next are now- up on the list is Georgia Boy 3's wife. And I advised him she is no longer allowed to provide survey results because on the last podcast, she said the weirdest thing she ever ate was squirrel. And the one thing she would never eat is sushi. sushi. Yeah, she so lost her, she, she lost has her been banned from survey results. Did you tell her no? I said no, not approved. Mm. Then I said, okay, fine. I felt bad. And then I said, okay, what are your answers? She Did also she redeem the squirrel? Not really. So <laughs> she also said uh, St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow and the Grand Canyon, where she will eat squirrels and sushi and squirrel sushi. Ooh. Are you supposed to eat squirrel raw? Are yeah. You supposed to burn? Are you supposed to heat out the uh, ra- ra- rabies? No, delicious, dude. With rabies with some wasabi, delicioso. I want a rabbit, rabbit. You want a rabbit, rabbit? Rabbit, rabbit. Hi. And then that would be a frog, really, a rabbit, rabbit. It would. Or a toad. Oh, it could be a toad. Toad. You got anything else on that? No. Okay. Next up was Will. That sounds like gunshots, bro. It did. It's, well, there's probably people celebrating early. Oh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Let's get our guns and shit. Fucking did they kill the turkey? <laughs> Megzi, uh, Megzi's camping. She had, she sent me a picture of two turkeys. Wow. Are they dead? Are they no, being... they're live wild ones walking around. I go, it looks like you got dinner for us for did Thursday. Did they get deep fried up in there? They were just walking around. Gobble, gobble, bitches. Will, Canada Will. William said Antarctica. Uh, it's, it seems cold. Seems extremely cold. Petra. Or I've heard of Petra. Petra, which is a ancient site in Jordan. I looked it up. It's the most visited place Petra in Church, not Petra. Church. Uh, the most visited place in the country of Jordan. Is that where the whale? That's not it's, where the whaling it's, wall is. It's built. No, it's built into the mountain. Hit hit three, bro. And it's just breathtaking. And yeah, it's it just, I mean, they, it's, they say it's known for it's the, the, the detailed architecture and the detailed carving of the rock into the stone. Isn't that where some of Indiana Jones went on? It sure looks like it, where the last crusade yeah, was filmed. The last for crusade, sure. it looks like, I don't know if that's true, but it looks look like it. Amazing. That looks, it's amaze balls. I would, that's definitely, that's list. really cool. It's a great answer. That's a beautiful answer. Good answer. Yeah. Thank you. So she did redeem herself. No, that was William. That was William. That was Canada Will. The other one wanted to go to the fucking Grand Canyon. Hey, the Grand Canyon is great, dude. Don't be, don't be all, just because you're not nature-y, dude. It's true. I feel shame. I should get a card. I should get a red card. A yellow yellow card? card For that. Yeah. You should get a. I also live in Arizona and that I don't appreciate it. It just makes me feel like a dumpster fire of a human being. (laughs) I should really enjoy it because I live here. Uh, sure. I don't know. Anyway. Next up on Will's list was... Petra's the, awesome. Yeah. Uh, William said the ruins of Athens, which I think that's... all. Yeah. How can you... That's so... Uh, what was that again? What you said it's... The... Um, Parthenon? Correct. I think that's... I would love to see that as well. I would all... I think it's a good... Also great Tambian. answer. Great answer. I think pretty... Hit three, my friend. No. Let's do that. Let's do like one of Uh-oh. these. Do, 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 do. There you go. That's what it looks like. All the cool little ruiny, ruiny things. Pillars. I hit off by mistake, dude. Is that bad? Probably. I hit on again, though. And now it's red. What what does that mean? I don't know, dude. This one. What's this one? (laughs) It seems to be working. Sure. We'll stick with it. It's, like it's recording, so fuck it. Fuck it. (laughs) (laughs) We're good. Fuck it. Hey, man. Welcome to. uh, Uh, Look. Take seven. We spent over a grand on this last 
on this last equipment Jesus, reboot. Dude. But it was to do the right thing. So you can get our beautiful mugs on, on video. Right, and to show the Parthenon, dude. Oh, yeah, but you got to go back to you and finger oh. guns. There you go. There you go. And then you... Much pre- All right. Uh, I, yeah, what do you say? I mean, how do you dispute seeing where really some one of the biggest thousands of years ago happened? Yeah. Those fucking guys philosophy and maths. So Pythagoras and uh, all that shit. Fucking Plato, so- Socrates, Plato, fucking was it Beth Oven? No, Beth Oven was not there, bro. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, he was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. He certainly was. Part one. Numero uno. C. All right. Anything else, else on got? Athens, bro? Uh, it's a great choice. Uh, Roberto said La Tierra del Fuego. That one, I'm going to have to look. I up. don't know that one, bro. Did you not look these up? I didn't look that one up. <sighs> I was hoping you were going to know, dude. La Fuego or Del Fuego? La Tierra del Fuego. Del Fuego. Of the, the land of the fire, I believe. It sounds it like, yeah, it sounds like fire. Land... Speaking of a different, have you heard? Have you ever been to the Badlands in the Dakotas? I have never been to either of the Dakotas, sir. Very cool. I would like to go there. I'd love to ride up there. You, we'll talk about that when we get to mine because it, it's not one of them. But, well, but we'll talk about that because it's not one of mine. But Rushmore, under underwhelming a little bit. It's they're small, right? Smaller than you think. Yeah, but it, it's. I mean, it's an amazing thing because they made all that stuff with bombs and like jackhammers, so chisels and shit. Cool. Yeah, and dudes died. It's neat. Um, but the Badlands actually were way cooler to me. Okay. But anyway. La Tierra. Fuego del... La or, Tierra. I'm sorry, La Tierra del Fuego. C. Si. Uh, hit three, bro. Trace. Bro. It's beautiful. What is that? That's La Tierra del Fuego. Where is that? Um, Australia. Australis. Austra- uh, I don't know. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. It does. There's a lighthouse on it. Oh. Whoa. What's this? What's this, people? Baja la patapataya. <laughs> Oh, it looks like it might be in uh, Argentina. Oh, okay. But I it, that might not be correct though, because you know how the Googs works with its with its images. I do. Z- 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 <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, watch sh- out! I just broke something. I'm Uh-oh, sure. Oh, you're cooking shit, bro. All right, that's a great great yeah. choice because it's something I have not heard of. So I'm curious Jace. what what the attraction is. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Is is are they Argentines? Uh, he's from New Mexico. Not old so, Mexico? No. He's Mexican. Mexican American. Argentinians speak Portuguese. They do, right? I believe so. Brazilians speak Portuguese. I also Tamians. Don't speak Spanish? I always get get those I always thought they spoke different languages. I thought they were the same. I don't know, dude. They could be. All I know is that both the Rio de Janeiro Jesus uh-huh. and La Tierra de Fuego. Yeah. That's all I know. That's all you got? That's all I got. Roberto's second answer is Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Titicaca. Titicaca. No, he said Machu Picchu. Cornolio. I can. Tipi for my Yeah. Machu Picchu. Beavis, you're like an idiot. Uh, settle down, Beavis. He said Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Which is in the Andes at 9,200 feet. In Andes. In is that where the, the ruins it's of not the Incas? Mexico City, is it? No, that's in the Incas in the Andes Mountains. Andes. Like not the Andes Candies. No. See, because that's where I'd want to be. I agree. Mint All and chocolate. Of the Andes Candies. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. You know that one's coming up. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I already did Boom. It. I know. I'm just, it's amazing. How, it's gorgeous. Look at some of that I, shit. I don't that know why. Amazing. Why would you? Fly? Why would you build a city up there, at that altitude, where there's, and there's no, there's no, there's no flat parts, you know? Right, but if you're going from, and I don't know this, ladies and gentlemen, so please take take us off of this. We're going to close this out. Let's go to. Let's. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I guess. I'll you're do. speaking, so go. Okay. Um, I, wasn't it a more of a temple monumenty kind of thing? So like it wasn't much for the living as it was for the ritual of the ceremony. Oh, I didn't, I, I, I think, have no idea. Cause it seems like a lot of Mayan things were like that. This one's Aztec though, right? Or is Inca. This, one, this one's Inca. Inca. Incan. Okay. I think a lot of times those temple type things were oh, more ceremonial. Okay. They weren't like People didn't where live you there. lived there. Possibly. 
Right. So they they went there for ceremonies or to bury somebody or some shit. Like yes, that. I think so. Okay, but I once again I'm not. Okay, I that's that's on my list. I just find sure. it strange that you would build something at that altitude and and then almost. It's hard to get to. Yeah, and then did they desert it or did they? Were they were they captured by the conquistadores or did they? You know what um, I mean? Like what happened? I don't. I don't really took, know. What, how many? Ninety percent of their life. How many? How many? How much did the Spanish assholes who brought over all their disease kill? Oh, oh yeah, Incans mi- mi- and millions and, and Mayans. Mayans. Yeah, like all of them. Yeah, it's like it was their COVID. Yeah, but they didn't have, you know, a great virus, a great uh, vaccine. They didn't have masks to make no masks. <laughs> they had different types of masks. They were ceremonial. <laughs> they were not to protect your face. I don't think that was a very good one, but. That was amazing, dude. Machu, pick Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. I love it. What we got next? Mary, super senior executive producer, has Stonehenge and the pyramids. Sounds like popular answers. Yes, Vincent. Vincenzo. Vincent Jesus Marquez said, also Tambien, the Giza pyramids. I'll do it. And the Eiffel Tower in France. Would you like to know something really weird about the Eiffel Tower? I would love to. Where, where, in what country is Le Eiffel Tower? In France. In Francois? Si. Do you know who built Le Eiffel Tower? A German. A motherfucking German. That's right. <laughs> I just totally guessed. Boom, fucking. I don't even know, bro. You need to, you need Boom. to be on that one for the high five, but okay. regardless oh, of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, German built that. Mr. Eiffel, actually. Oh, That's I didn't where, know Eiffel yeah, was Eiffel a German Tower. name. Yeah. Okay. Eiffel. Um, Eiffel. <laughs> and hurt my pinky toe. Did you see that thing I sent to you uh, on the Twitter? The oh, fucking the the link about all the guy doing all the different photoshops? Yes. Tell me some of that shit was. Some wasn't was funny. very funny. Because the Eiffel Tower. Did you see that one? No. Oh, so basically the woman says, Um, I'm faking like a trip to Paris with my for my friends. Can you put the Eiffel Tower behind me or whatever? And it was spelled E Y E F E L L because the person didn't know how to spell Eiffel. And he built a stone tower behind her with eyeballs falling off of it. Oh I, shit. Shit is funny. I'm it was I was rolling. I didn't see that one. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's worth scrolling through that entire site. So, Eiffel Tower got it. Uh, is that to get married? Is she married? Uh Vince is oh, married. Oh, is Vince yes. married? Yeah. Is his is his wife married? <laughs> to to Vince. Yes. <laughs> Um, question on that. Yeah. Uh, is that where they got married? Maybe is there a special, uh, I, like, I don't is that where think proposed or something. I don't believe she's never so. been right. I don't know. I'm sorry. You want to handle these fucking surveys? Cause I was just I asking. Why well, don't know the specifics of this shit, man, I thought, man. Uh, okay. Dude. What else we got next? Dude. 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 Uh, next up, Tracy said the pyramids. Angela said Mount Rushmore, the aforementioned, Small heads. Apparently, they had the Zika because their heads were small. Yes. Yes. They had the Viros. They it's a different kind of midget heads. That seems weird. Squishing man. of the heads. I crush. I crush your I head. Crush your I, head. Crush your I crush your head. I crush it. I crush, I crush your head. Angel also had the Washington Monument. It's because it looks like a giant dildo. Uh. uh, uh I think there's uh, a question. Does the Washington Monument? Does it, sway in, does it sway in the breeze? I believe it moves. Slightly. I believe it does sway in the breeze. I believe also. Tambien. Uh, and anything else on the swaying phallus? If you're going to say Washington Monument, wouldn't you just say all of Washington, D.C., like the whole area? Because yeah, it's all I would like really pretty... love to see the Smithsonian. Have you been? I've never been to, I've never been to D.C. You've never been to D.C.? No, I'd love to see the Smithsonian. I, if, not, if I hadn't gone, I would definitely uh, put that on my list. But let me, Washington Monument, Lincoln Memorial. Smithsonian, Air and Space Museum, yeah, Library Air and Congress, Space for like sure, all, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing, Declaration, all Declaration of Independence, all that stuff is just. So, were you a treasure protector? Balls. We're more like treasure protectors. We're more like treasure protectors. Okay. Uh, I've got uh, this pledge pen from uh, from Washington. You are you're like missing, check mark cage pledge pens. Pledge pens. <laughs> I'm leaving Las Vegas. Oh, I don't uh, know anymore, I'm bro. sorry I asked. You shouldn't have asked because he was in Snake Eyes, bro. I don't remember that one. With Gary Sinise. All right. The last one on Angela's list was she's already been, but she'd like to go again. The USS Arizona. I've never been. Have you been? I have. The, you saw the tears? 
of Arizona. You saw the tears of the Arizona. You heard of the tears of the Arizona, no? No. Bro. Bro. I okay. mean, tell us what, what is. Well, the USS Arizona the USS was a battleship Arizona. in uh, Pearl Harbor in Hawaii that was sunk on December 4th, 1941 by the Japanese. It was a day that shall live in infamy. A date. Day that shall live in infamy. <sighs> Damn it. I'm pretty sure it's date, bro. Bro, uh, it was December 7th, all right? December 7th. 12, 741. Uh, and the, the USS Arizona Monument is a large white structure built across the battleship. So when you're on the monument, you can actually see the entire length of the battleship and the the oil from the the ship is still bubbling up. It's it's and it there's still guys trapped in there and it's really sad and it it shows the sacrifice that men made to serve their country. Those are the Tears of the Arizona, the oil part. Oh, I didn't know. I've never heard yeah, that term before. The, yeah, so it's called the Tears of the Arizona. So basically, oh. it is 2020. This happened in 1941. Yeah. So 79 years ago. Yeah. A battleship. Yeah. In Pearl Harbor was sunk, which is funny because Arizona at the time. 1912. They had not, Hawaii nor Alaska were ratified yet, correct? I, there are 48 states? I think it was in the 50s they were ratified. Right. So I, I'm not sure. I, I believe oh, uh, Alaska was a 49th state, right? I don't know. So let's look up Alaska ratification. Alaska state ratification was 56, and Hawaii is the 50th state. Okay. So it was after those. And Arizona was 1912. Correct. Correct, because we just had the centennial. Correct. Know, the 100 years. So what's crazy about it is... The battleship, one of the oldest battleships of the Navy at the time was the Arizona, but yeah. it was one of the youngest state. It was the youngest state at the time. Yeah, it's weird. It was literally the youngest state It because there were two that came after it. Yeah, we're the 48th state. We're the 48th state. There were 48 at the time. Yes. And that was one that sunk, and it was one of their older ships. Yes. We need to do a conspiracy about Pearl Harbor, for sure. But the tears of the Arizona, 79 years ago, this battleship sunk. It's still leaking oil. 79 years later. That's crazy. And you it's visible. That's yeah. what's fucking crazy. And I've never been. I've been to Hawaii but I have not gone to the the main the, where it was. But it's uh, tell me how, how did, did you cry? No. Um I, I was really young. I was in high school. So um part of I mean uh, sadly I'm sad to admit that part of it was lost on me cuz I was so young. But I I'd like to go back just to experience it again and it's it was it's sad cuz they have all the guys names on the monument where you're walking and is you know 1000 guys or there like there were several thousand that were killed that day I don't know how many were actually on the Arizona What's interesting how many people I think only a few thousand people died during It was like 3000 It was less than 3000 Yeah so and I think as many died in 9-11. Correct. It was right. It was very, right close very to close number. to the same. Yes, sir. Correct. I remember when it first, when 9-11 happened. So do I. Yeah, obviously. They thought 50,000, 30,000, 50,000, well, because everybody was supposed to be at work and all yeah, this shit was supposed to go the down. The trip that I went to, that I went, went to scores, I went to the top of the World Trade Center. So the fact what that- What year was that? 99. So the fact that I was on top of the World Trade Center and then two years later that happened. And I remember, you know, you go on the tour and you get all the information and it was- really interesting to be on top of the world trade center and 106 floors and there's different elevators and that whole thing. And they said the two, that both towers could hold 50,000 people. So when I saw them come down, I went, Oh fuck, it's nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning in New York. There's 50,000 people in those buildings. Everybody's already at work. And that wasn't the case. No, it was a lot, lot, lot less than that. It sucks that the people died for sure. No, but, it's it's a horrible tragedy, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, but and and the scale, like whether it's two thousand or ten thousand, it, it's tragic. Oh yeah, of course. Um, someone shared a story with me about that. That uh, her father was was late getting there, and missed it. Wow. And I think he called his receptionist to tell him he was going to be late, and she was in it. Oh God, that's just crazy. I it's hard to, to vet those stories, but. That moves me. 
I can't even imagine. Did you go to the Ground Zero? Um, yeah, I went back to Ground Zero um, a couple of years ago. I was in New Jersey for training with two guys from work, and um, Franco wanted to go to Ground Zero. We were in, we had the night off, and he's like, "Hey, man, let's go." We took the bus in from New Jersey. Um, Bridge and Tunnel Crew. Uh, and then we got a cab down to down to Ground Zero, and we saw the like the little tiny. They're like it's like a little waterfall. Oh, and it's just like you know, it's only three feet tall. All in its four squares and marble, gray marble. It must have been after you didn't need a pass anymore. I'm yeah, assuming. it was at night. It was like at oh, okay. nine thirty at night, it was dark. You know, um, God, what year was that? It's probably six years ago. Okay, something like that. Right before yeah. the Freedom Tower probably went up. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was way before then. So it was, but it was, it was fucking sad, dude. It's yeah. so, so sad. I could, I didn't go. I lived there. I live so close. I mean, I live in Philly. Yeah. And I couldn't go. Could not, could not bring myself to go. Couldn't, couldn't. I, I don't know why. It's, just, it's just sad, man. I, did I tell you my 9-11 story? No. Um, in hindsight, I think, over the weekend, I had gotten deathly ill, like legitimately ill. The night, the, the, the morning it happened, I had like 102 fever. Wow. I was... Think about this. So I was literally burning up and I, and I wake up to a voicemail from my mom saying, I hope you're watching television and I turn it on and there are the towers smoking. And now with my stuff that happened now recently, like the stuff that I'm awake towards or that I pay attention to the, yeah. the events that I have, yeah, I may have felt them burning. Like I honestly, Holy fuck, I just, dude. I kind of equated to that, and it really fucks me up when I think about that. Um, there's an interesting guy we talk about, Brian Adams. There's a guy named Ryan Adams who did a song. He's an artist. He's a musician, like acoustic. Yeah, I know the name. He did a song called New York, New York, and his music video was filmed on September 7th, 2001, and in the background the whole time, the Twin Towers. It's just him standing under a bridge with the Twin Towers in the background. That's the whole backdrop of the video is him playing. Holy shit. On the 7th, four days before it went down. And back then, viral wasn't a thing, but it went viral as much yeah. as it could go. But on imagine the now. It, I'm yeah, sorry, the 12th. On the, tw on the 11th. Yeah, even the, the day of. Right. They're like, hey, by the way, I've actually pulled up the YouTube. Maybe I'll just attach it on the links or something. There you but, go. Well, that's horrible and depressing. 9-11 so, so was weird. It's a tough yes, one. Yeah. Still not sure about, just like Pearl Harbor, I don't know. I The conspiracy theorist in me. I don't know, man. You done? Sure. Now that I'm depressed? Yeah. Need a nap? Oh, God, what are you doing? I God. Oh, I God? There's my eye. Ah. I changed cameras. Oh, bro. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Next up was Echo Lima. E-L. He also said Machu Picchu. Much, peach, and he said, "The base camp at Everest on a clear day." The one right before the final. Yeah, the twenty-one thousand foot fucker. Did he? Does uh, he, does he hike? Does I he climb? I don't know. No idea. Curious. He would die if he. He didn't. can hit the shit out of the golf ball though. <laughs> Congratulations. He's six. There's a golf course up there. Six six. There <laughs> should be. Imagine the fucking. Imagine how far you can. Fucking I could hit, hit the ball three hundred yards. He could hit it six hundred yards. Throw it three hundred yards. Yeah, right. With the fucking thin air up there. Okay, that, uh, that's a great one. Uh, what are your thoughts on? Yeah, like, I would. Everest I would anything? love to. I mean, I've been at thirteen thousand two hundred feet, and that kicked my ass. I've been at thirteen feet, and I'm. Whew, that was rough. I go bro. up the stairs. I'm like, Ooh, winded. Oh, oh man, it's pretty. Rough. Uh, thirteen thousand was fucking hard as shit, dude. So I'm. I, I would love to go to base camp, but just to go to base camp takes a year of training. I know. So. There's a really cool documentary about Everest uh, on Amazon. I'll see if I can find it for you, but it basically tells you like how long it takes to train and they go through the whole thing. You need a Sherpa guy and like, yeah, they, have, they follow one of the guides, like the main guy that everyone uses or whatever. Okay. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Yeah. Cause um, I mean, I, you don't get it. No, I, I get it. I just have no interest in it. But I get like people who've 
obviously, how do you not admire that? I can't even fathom it. So I, I don't even know if I can, I don't know if I can get it to that point. Like, um, how many guys, 12 guys stepped on the moon, allegedly? Allegedly. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, that's amazing, but it's like so outside of my possible scope of understanding right now. Right. Because standing on a fucking different ball than the one we're on seems odd. I have to ask you a question. Mustache you a question? Do you me? want an Uncrustable? Oh, I know. I, yes, I want Uncrustable. Is this strawberry one? You know it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Uncrustables. Um, this, one, this one might be less squishy. No, here. I'm good. No, that one's too squishy, well, I'm bro. Gonna eat it I'm not going to eat it now. It's, here, take this one. Okay. Do, do you refrigerate them before you eat them, or how does this uh, work? Yes, yeah, I took, okay. I took these right out of the freezer. Oh, sweet. So they're now, they're probably perfect. It's Arizona, so they're thawed. Yeah, they were thawed in three minutes. They're boiling right now. They're like, oh, dude, that's too hot. So, so Everest, yeah. I mean, you're a hiker, though. You're 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 one of the outdoors people. Yeah, I like nature and Is shit. Is Everest like a thing you'd want no, to do? No, 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 because I'm don't not have in, like an interest. I, yes, it just seems I so, absolutely have an interest. However, there's one gentleman that I I, I I used to watch documentaries about it and stuff, and um, years the years ago I saw this thing twelve years ago, and he said. He was an avid climber and and hiker and stuff, and he wanted to do Everest with no oxygen. That was his goal. And he, can one do it without? Uh, you oxygen? can, but it's how much like, water do you have to drink though? Isn't that the whole point? I don't know, dude. How, how, how do you breathe at t- fuck twenty six thousand feet? 20, right, because you drown twenty eight thousand. It's the weirdest thing. You drown in your fluids in your own, unless yeah, you yeah. drink it, water. I, I don't get it, dude. It, I didn't understand the physics behind it. Uh, so. He Actually, said, I, do. I don't know if he made it, but he got really high. He got really high up, not high, but he got really high up there. He, I think he got to 25 or 26,000 feet. And I think Everest is 28, I believe. Something Jesus. to that effect, 28 something. So he said, you have to get used to being uncomfortable. Get used to being miserable. And I'm like, no, fuck, fuck, no, fuck, no, yeah. no, I'm out. Bye. Why would I want that? Just so that I could say that I accomplished something? No, because to me it's not. It's more about the journey than it is the the end goal. Like I gotta, I have to have a good time and I have to enjoy myself along the way. Right. If I have to suffer just to say that I did that, nah, I, no, thank you. I get like you. that's fucking dumb, dude. I, 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 I admire them. No, I admire the totally. shit out of them. Yeah. That that a human being could do that, I think, is amazing. But that's not me, man. I don't give a poop. No, I I admire it as well. I just have like why risk that? An avalanche, a snowstorm. Like how many people have died? Have more people died trying to get to the top than have actually gotten to the top? Perhaps. It's a pretty close. I don't want to have to. I'm not. I'm not beer googling that. But uh, yeah, that don't. There's got to be a pretty close ratio of people who have died trying. As many have, have has made have made it. Uh, yeah, and I and I know that's on, not worth it to me. It's I agree, and I know on a lot of hikes that people actually going up Everest or down, they walk by bodies that they just can't they can't remove the bodies because it's too difficult. They they right because they, 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 they carrying the extra weight correct, or something they would correct, die trying correct. to correct right. And you know, there's one thing that people don't think about. Hey, I made it to the top. Getting down is actually the hard part because you're exhausted. That's right. You know, you've been hiking since like 2 a.m. And you need to be down by a certain time yes. or else you freeze to death. Yes. Or a certain time before the weather comes yes. in or a certain time before. In, there's X, food Y, and right. oxygen and water and hydration issues. issues yeah. And there's and you're exhausted and then you, every single step, you could die. So the part that, that's crazy is above a certain number of feet. It's called the death zone. It's called the death zone for a reason. So, no. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah, like, I, I want to go. Pass, let's, do you want to just go to Scores in New York you and know, not go to fucking Everest? I'd rather I'd rather risk getting a paper cut and going, getting a strip dance or a lap dance from a stripper at Scores than I would risking going up Everest. Once us and them get to take our masks off. Well, I was thinking just a paper cut from like other diseases they have. Oh, sure. You know, like chlamydia without with an H? Yes. Or without an H? All the sorry. H's. With or without the H? C-L-A. Midia. 
media. That's correct. That's how you spell that shit. That is all the surveys, sir. All right. Just you and I and your list. And I've got the Megsies. Yeah, and the Megs. Are you ready for the Megsies? Yeah. List? I've got, I think she, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, go. Wow. Okay. Two of them have not been mentioned. What? Yet three have, but this is why I love her. She's, She's like balls. Petra. Awesome. I like, I dig that choice. Machu Picchu. I think you hyped to that, but I'm not sure. Hey. Great Wall of China. Those are the three that we have already gone over. But okay. wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Angkor Wat. Who? Are you wait familiar with Angkor Wat? Is this one in Thailand? I'm going to look it up right now. But Angkor Wat is the one Bless I you. think that, isn't that the lighthouse on Angkor Wat? What? I always get Angkor Wat. Oh, here it is. Are you ready for some photos, sir? Go to three. I did. Yeah, this is oh, yeah. Thailand. Yeah, it's look how fucking awesome that looks. I'm gonna go back real quickly because I want to make that. Here we go. Yeah, that wow, looks pretty. That's cool. so I think cool. that's where the like the monastery. Yeah. And all, that's look at some badass, of that shit. Dude. Look at Cambodia. Cambodia. I was way off. But look at that. Like, look at that. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, think about how old and just. When are you guys going to Cambodia? Gorgeous. Um, probably never. What? I'd want to go. These I want to be one of these two guys. Right? Like, hey, Look at the robes, these, bro. These two dudes. Yeah. Anyway, so okay, we can get out of that guy now. But um, and the last one, yeah, Hagia Sophia. I know that one. Why do I know? I that know. One? I feel like it's <sighs> ah, shit. I know, but she's. Those are phenomenal choices. Blah blah blah, Sophia. Blah 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 blah. Oh, let's get to the images, shall we? How about there? There we go. Oh, oh look at the fucking inside oh, of that shit. Is this? Is that in Spain? No, this is the one in Constantinople, right? That was used to be Christian, and they converted it oh, to Muslim, yes. right? Is this? Yeah, I think I, I think saw right. some documentary about this. Ottoman, it's Ottoman. Yeah, yeah, that yeah makes it's in Constantinople, sense. right? Look at, the, look at the fucking thing. Look at that picture. With Basi- yep, mosque, Basilica, yes. mosque, or museum. Yes, I read that article. <laughs> the Holy Wisdom, yeah. a Basilica, mosque, or museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how amazing is that? Look how gorgeous that looks. Yeah, and that was basically taken by war, right? Back yeah, and forth and over from time. like the 1300s, they've been fighting over that shit. Jesus Christ, I don't know. That seems amazing. Well, that's a really awesome one, too. Amazing she, balls. The only one I'm a little disappointed by is, is the Great Wall. But it's... It's amazing. It would be cool to see the Great Wall. It would be cool to go and say I went to the Great Wall. Yeah. So it's not I'm all of the other ones though, absolutely want to go to you're all not of them. Not doxing those. anybody. I wouldn't not Megzy. You would never. Not you're I don't, a, you're a non doxer. I dix Megzy. I don't And anti doxer. I'm a dixer, not a doxer. Whoa. Right, Megzy? Oh fuck. I'm sorry I brought it up. Megzy's a doxer. I'm a dixer. Because she likes the doxins and I like Dixie and Dixon. <laughs> Dixie cups. Dixie cups. I like Dixie cups. <sighs> it's hard to be that sexy from the Czech Republic. It's hard being this sexy, y'all. Y'all. I don't know. I try my American. I, I try my you. cowboy accent. <laughs> Check mark just made a stop in Dallas. All right, your turn. Are my turn. In, let's go back and forth. Uh, I also have. I only have two. Well, okay. let me tell you the ones I've been to that would have been on my list. Right. Let's do that because that's fun. Obviously, the L.A. Coliseum, uh, Fenway Park, I got to see a Yankees-Red Sox game. Very cool. And my dad was a Red Sox fan forever. He served in World War II. A guy in his platoon was a Red Sox in 1946 and 47. Oh, so very that's cool. why he was a Red My dad's never been to Massachusetts, never been to a Red Sox game. But he was a Red Sox fan for all those years, even though he grew up and lived in L.A. So Good brothers in arms, man. Yeah, so... I got to go to the to Fenway Park and see Yankees Red Sox, and I'm such a baseball guy. That's you know, to to go to Dodger Stadium. I've been to Wrigley Field and I've been to Fenway Park. I did not get to go to the old Yankee Stadium, so to me, that's I've I've seen my baseball stuff. I I haven't been to a World Series yet, but as far as those are simple monuments as far as other monuments. I've already been to the Roman Coliseum 
And that was really my number one place that I wanted to go to. And that was just amazing because I have a fascination with Roman culture. Baseball. So, the baseball. I went to Yankee Stadium the year before it, the year before it closed, the old one. Yeah. And I will tell you, I, humans have a real weird, do you ever, do you ever watch Star, Star Trek movie, one of the Star Trek movies? Do you remember the first contact where they go back in time where the guy goes to warp speed or whatever? Yeah, of course. And there's like, they're like some, there's that tactile feeling, like putting your hand on the, on the ship. Uh Uh-huh. And it's like alive. Yeah. Yankee Stadium was just buzzing. It was like, vi- it vibrate. It was alive. Whoa. It was the fuck. You walk up to it and it's ugly. It's piss stained. It's disgusting. But it's like, you almost hear it buzzing. Like, yeah. it's alive. It's, it's one of the weird things that you probably felt that at Fenway and you felt that at Wrigley, I'm sure. But oh, yeah. Holy shit. That place. It's unbelievable how just it had that energy of all the stuff that went well, on. Well, it's in. the house that Babe Ruth built. I mean, they—they they, it's amazing. Hundred years. They—they they called it that for a reason, right? So I, I totally get that. And when I when I walked, I got to the we got to the um, Fenway Park a couple hours before the game started, and they let us in. And they, it's weird how they let you in. They let you in through one gate, and you have to walk around. Through the through the bottom section, if you saw the movie The Town, yeah, it's it's just that's filmed in Fenway Park, so it's just like that. You're walking around through the bottom section, and they funnel you through one gate, which is just to the left from behind home plate. And that's where you walk up. So to walk up that tunnel in the f- bottom section of Fenway Park behind home plate on a sunny day. And the first thing you see is the green monster and you see the field. It, I almost cried uh, as a goddamn grown man. And I almost cried because baseball was such a big part of my grandfather's life. And you're my, a pussy. And I'm a big pussy. So <laughs> I'd never been to Fenway Park to see that for the first time. And, you know, my dad has been a fan for 55 years or some shit. It was crazy. That's amazing. Because Fenway Park is one of the original. The place is goddamn 100 years old. Yeah. So it's, and the Yankees were there. So that's the the rivalry of rivalries. Well, the game itself, yeah. I got to see a whopping Toronto Blue Jays. Oh, game. the Blue Jays. It was like Toronto. the first week. It was like the first week in like April, first week of April, something like that. I think the year before, I think it closed. It might have been the year of, but I can't imagine I've gotten tickets if it was a year of because I think like everybody would have gone. Yeah, it was probably, well, the, every Yankee game is sold out. Yeah. Well, what's interesting, do they have a non drinking, a no drinking section? In Fenway? Uh, anyway. Not that I know of. They do it in Yankee Stadium, boys and girls. Really? The outfield is bench seating. Yes, of course. And there's no alcohol allowed because those motherfuckers get crazy. are fucking crazy, yeah. my friend. Yeah. The fucking, what I loved about it, because I'm a fucking hater of the of the wave. You are. I it's fantastic. Fucking hate the Can wave. Can you give us a demonstration of what you do when the wave comes? Okay, so this is everybody going around the circle. Yes. And there was a dude at the Yankee Stadium that would stand and go, no! And the whole fucking wave would hit him and it would just dissipate as no one else did it after that. He was like the king. He was, he was like the, the captain. wave stopper. He was the wave captain. The wave like, captain. Dude, if he was really on a boat, there wouldn't. Be, it would be glass water. Man. Whoa, glass Not water. Not a single wave. It was beautiful. So this thing would come around and he'd, no! <laughs> and like, it's did like you fucking learn it? Moses. Did you learn it from the, him? No, I was, I was like... Yes! You tell them to fucking stop that goddamn wave, motherfuckers. I fucking hate the wave. I cannot oh, say. Shit. I don't know why. I can't wait to go to a game with you and start that wow. shit. Bro? Yeah. No. I'm going to wear the wrong jersey. I'm gonna wear You're wearing ha- Iron Maiden jersey. I'm going to wear my hat backwards. Iron Maiden f- hot football jersey. Yeah, at a hockey game. At a lacrosse game. <laughs> They're not Remember here anymore, dude. Lacrosse Arizona were fun, sting, bro. They were fun. They I were, know. They were, we had like one of the best players of all time. I know. Dangerous Danny Dawson. Uh, sure. Triple D. Whatever it takes. Whoa. You might want to. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no. You might want to get off me because I. Whoa! I, I don't want to. I'm not on you, yeah, dude. But, but bro, if you were going to start the wave, I'd get on you, and I'd be like, get down, get down. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Uh, <laughs> all right. So after the baseball is the Roman Coliseum, which I which was amazing. So I'm really glad I got to go there. Never been to Rome. It's did you get to see the Vatican and everything else? Yeah. Okay. The so Basilica. How was that not? How did that not blow you away? Oh yeah, just just you know, obviously I'm not a religious person, and um, the art, just the appreciation of the artwork and the history of it was ama- was just breathtaking. Right. So I approached it from that way of, of you have to the hit the, of the historical importance of the of the area. You that have was to. cool, yeah. Because you and I have talked about religion and faith and all this stuff, and we've basically. We haven't been the, the most kind to it, what? to the religions. And Get and the some people's argument is like, well, without that, where would you have your the religious poetry and the art and stuff? It's like, you know that shit was commissioned, right? It wasn't like they somebody got fucking- paid, did, bro. Right. Mike, David, or Michelangelo didn't fucking paint that shit for free. Right. Okay? So let's fucking just take a step back. But that said, yes, the amazing artwork that comes out of yeah. that and what that would be like, Trevi Fountain, all that stuff, yeah. I can't- I, that would be a beautiful part of yeah. Europe. I'd love to be at. Uh, I did get to see the Sistine Chapel and Michelangelo's. Do you know anywhere else in Europe or just Italy? Uh, Italy. Okay, I've been to Germany. Really? You've been to Germany? I will tell you this. Get the fuck out. The one, the one thing that moved me. Yeah. The Berlin Wall. I oh, saw the wall yeah. before it went down. So it went down November of eighty nine. Yeah. And I went there eighty five, eighty six, somewhere in that range, and I have a piece of it, which is awesome, and. Oh. It just, it moves Brandenburg gate. It just the other side, there's humans that aren't allowed to leave. Like or it's, have fucking blue jeans. <laughs> well, I'm sure. Well, Russia that had blue jeans. They loved it. What was really interesting, if pe- people don't know how Germany was set up. So basically what happened was World War II happens. You've got Britain, France, United States are the allied forces along yeah. with Russia, right? They split the country into fourths. I don't know why I have a thought that Soviet Union was the largest landmass that could handle it. We gave all of our portions to Russia. We Germany. We America. Oh. So America breaks it into quarters or whatever. The, France has a quarter. Britain has a quarter. United States has a quarter. And Russia, Russia has, has a quarter. quarter. But we don't. That's not our landmass, right? So we had to. We, we couldn't manage it. We gave our section to Russia. So we basically gave them half half of East Germany because it's a quarter of the country. Yeah, I get it. And they also broke up Berlin into in quarters, half, yeah, in quarters, right? Now the interesting thing is Berlin is physically inside of East Germany. So if you can escape into West Berlin, which is free, but in order to leave, you either had to fly out or drive through East Germany to get out, which is terrifying. Which is. You're not going to drive it. You had to fly out, really, right? basically. So when my parent, my mom, we, we talked about that. I, I'm trying to get her on. I hope she comes out sooner uh, so we can have that conversation because her story is fucking amazing. But when you stand on the other side of the wall and you know the German, the East German side from the West German side, you know how you know? There's fucking graffiti all over the West German side. And the other side is clean as a fucking whistle. Right. Because it's like there's mines and there's fucking barbed wire. Like you're Communism. not getting close. Right. And you're not getting close. Right. It's very efficient, very just clean. Right. It's not free. And when that wall went down, man, Germany. Yeah. And the way people were hugging each other and crying. And oh. that was ama- That was an amazing moment in human yeah. history. Yeah. I mean, the story's my mom. I can't wait. I. I, I want to get her on here like ASAP, but that was one of my big ones that I went to that I was fortunate enough that you just can't. I mean, yeah, there's a piece of it, but you, it's not the same. Right. Because it wasn't a thing that now. It's well, not a thing now. It's a monument. It's yeah, a, it's been dissolved. Yeah, it's a, it's a museum now. It's a yeah. museum piece or whatever. Um, something I hadn't gone to, though, that I don't think was up was the Holocaust Museum in, and I don't know if I could do it. That's rough, man. I don't know if I could do it. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. Yeah. Um, back to you, Johnny. Uh, after the Roman Coliseum, what else have you been to? Uh, anything else? Not nothing. Well, Grand Canyon. Tell us. Tell me about oh, your yeah, favorite I mean, Grand Canyon spot. Um, probably the last Grand Canyon trip that Tyson and I did. Um, we did. A tr- <laughs> we were on the bottom, and we ran into a ranger 
we were like cooking breakfast or something. And the ranger goes, hey, what trails are you guys doing? Oh, we're coming. To, we came down New Hans and we're going up Grandview or some shit. I don't know, whatever they were. He goes, oh, those are the two hardest trails in all the Grand Canyon. And I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking dick. Tyson did it, dude. Yeah, Tyson did it. He, I don't he think fucking... Tyson knew, but he just knew. Oh, I never tried these before. Let's do these. I'm like, and, oh, what's this double black diamond on this game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Let's just go. Boom. <laughs> Tree. <laughs> so Tyson got the permits and uh, we, you know. Very nice. But we were on the bottom of the Grand Canyon and at night. It's it was it was April, so it was you know it's on the bottom of the Grand Canyon. It's the same temperature as Phoenix, so it's l lovely, just beautiful, like seventy five degrees, eighty degrees in the day, maybe fifty, f maybe forty eight, maybe fifty three at night, just gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. We we set up our tent right on the sand along the Colorado River, and then it starts like totally forgot. Colorado River runs through the fucking thing. That's yeah, where that's it. where you get your water yeah. for breakfast and shit. That's where you carve so, it. That's crazy. How uh, how what's it like at that point? At at the this is where you're doing the rim to rim, right? Or, or no, hike, we just or hiking down. We didn't into go it. rim to rim. We just went, hiked down. Okay, we hiked down. Which how big's the river down there? Uh, hundred feet wide? Not even? No, it's barely. Right? A couple like hundred. A is it a couple? Oh, hundred? Yeah, is it pretty yeah, big yeah. down there? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, in some places there's rapids. And right. It's that's incredibly dangerous. But I've seen rapids where you actually. Take, do the rapids yes, i'd love correct. to do that but right. that's in a very different part than the hiking part well you can or hike can you all both? over the grand canyon okay sure so on um, where we were it was probably a couple hundred feet maybe 400 so we were pretty close to the other side so you could just see the sheer cliffs of the other side okay um but one night it started sprinkling and then and we were in our tent just shooting the shit it was getting late 10 o'clock 11 o'clock uh, and then it started getting really, 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 really windy. Like, and Tyson's like, D this is, and the winds picked up. It was like 45, 50 mile per hour. Wow. Winds. It was bad. Like, oh, like in how quickly? In, it just oh, rolled oh, in? Like within 10 minutes. Like a it, front? Yeah, it was really strange, right? That is weird. So Tyson starts kind of getting worried. And I'm like, dude, you're the Air Force pilot. How come you're the worried one? What, you've been through survival training, dude, right? So he, we put he put the tent so it wasn't into the wind it was like the the brunt force of the wind was taken by the tent so i said let's move the tent so that it were more streamlined he goes hey that's a really good idea i'm like again you're the fucking air force pilot dude come on get on and then <laughs> well you're the engineer apparently i was like fuck dude and then he then he started worrying like dude i think are we gonna get swept away by the wind i was like motherfucker i'm 210 pounds we're not going anywhere man and you're six six what, to whatever the fuck we're not going anywhere dude so oh, the next morning so next morning how far are you down when you, we didn't really <laughs> move at all it lasted 25 minutes it was no big deal okay but it got windy as shit there's there was sand in the tent there was sand in our faces there was sand in our sleeping bags and he did a home movie which i'm going to try to find and he it was like it was like the blair witch project he goes i was i was so scared <laughs> just kidding and there was like sand all up in his boogers <laughs> it was so funny and i'm like, like I'm and i was in the background like, like fucking I'm in the blair background. witch did he blair witch it he did it was so he was, oh, had all these mofos burgers in his he's like Mo mocos mocos is booger mocos. mocos booger um like mucus I yeah get it. it makes right. sense so uh i go i'm in the background like motherfucker you were scared shut up <laughs> <laughs> so I, he goes dude he goes i think it was a microburst is what he said because it Could've came been. on so quick and it left so quick and there was just we got pelted with sand oh, wow. so i'm like he so we usually we leave our packs outside maybe it was a haboob it was a haboobie so we leave all our shit outside he's like dude let's bring all of our shit inside the tent okay but all of our shit was inside the tent not speaking of fucking haboob jace when the fuck did we start having haboobs? What what happened to good old fashioned sandstorm? Do you remember sandstorms? Remember when they were just hi, we we're in a sandstorm. Then what? How many years ago did it become a haboob? <laughs> uh, text message. This, uh, Echo just, just said it's Wiener Wednesday. Wiener Wednesday. I need a wiener right now in my mouth. I got wieners in my mind. I got wieners in my mind. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Mm -hmm. We talked about DC. Mm -hmm. There's a couple things in DC that absolutely like air and space for you and I, obviously just, yeah. Oh it's yeah. Just, the Smithsonian in, absolutely in the museum. Yeah. These are absolute musts. Yeah. Washington monument. Great. Lincoln Memorial. Great. The reflection pool. Great. The Vietnam. Oh War yeah. Memorial. Yeah. Just 
I'm going to go to that too. I didn't think about that. 40,000 names. 53. I, I, is it 53? Is it all 53,000? 53, 53, right okay. I knew it was, I thought it was 40 on the actual monument itself. Oh, I, 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 could I know be wrong. over 50,000 died. Right. We know that. Um, I'm going to look it up real quick, but Vietnam Memorial, right? Yeah. Uh, Memorial Wall. Sure. How many names? Yeah. Um, so it's basically very simple. Um, how many names? And 58,000. There you go. Wow. I was off by 5,000. It Just like Yankee Stadium, just like I think I'd feel at Ground Zero, just like I'd feel probably at the Arizona, It it's alive. And it it's just got all those souls like trapped in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but they didn't die there. No, but it's like they died on the other side of the planet. Right. And if you go ahead and hit hit three real quick, and that's the length of it. Look at that fucking thing all the way down. Look at that. Just the names. Oh yeah, it's it's look yeah, it's, it's un. Look at look at this. I mean, I don't know how to explain. It. And and it's probably me superimposing. You know uh, how I mean, important it was. But anyway, you can get off. It's that very now. important. Um, well, I'm just saying superimposing like to your point. No, they didn't die there. You're absolutely right. This was just, this was made created at a place where they make monuments, right? So yeah. it doesn't have any of those, but the names just, it felt like the names were carrying their souls. Like it just, I, I and you see run why your fingers over it yeah. and you, and some people did etches of like, yeah. people were doing etches the, and their family watching the and family shit. members yeah. and watching, watching this and Rambo is on there. John A. Rambo is actually a person's name on what? Yeah. Did you not know that? No. Yeah. You, I trust you. Don't look it up. Well, I'm going to not. <laughs> oh, but. poop. He's looking it up. Uh, anyway. Um, Did they drew first blood? He didn't? Take a look, my friend. What? Hit, go ahead and hit. Oh, hit trace right there. Oh, there it is. Arthur J. Rambo. Isn't that weird? Wow. First blood part two. Uh, yeah. So that's interesting. But um, that, yeah, that was one. That's you. If you go to DC, I not. I didn't go to the White House. I didn't do any of that stuff. I did obviously like the the main part, but if you go to DC, that's the one you need to watch because it's. Just, I would go to DC just to go to the Vietnam Memorial. Yeah, it would. If you could go nowhere else, of all the things in DC, yeah, that's probably where I'd go. Followed by probably by Air and Space Museum, only because the how you and I just we are. Yeah, we look to the skies all the time, but. Those two places, uh, the the more the Vietnam War Memorial thing was just amazing. Anyway, so that was that. Do you have another place that you uh, that you really enjoyed that that like a lot of people say, God, I wish wish I could go there. I've got one more, and then we could probably just do the ones we want to do. Um, if- Zion National Park, Utah, was unbelievable. Just I liked it better than Grand Canyon. I've said Is that, that the on one the podcast God's before. Eye? I don't know about that. It's one of the five parks in southern Utah, known as the Utah Five. Arches, Zion, Bryce Canyon, Canyon Lands, and something else. Um, But Zion, I've I've only been to Zion. Uh, I hear Bryce Canyon is spectacular, but um, Zion is just, I've been on top of Angel's Landing, which is the one you just pulled up. I'm trying to just find a good picture of it. That's Angel's Landing right there. Right, here, this guy? Yeah. Um, oh. and it's just, oh, there's the five, just ridiculous. There's a mighty five. Tw- oh, wow. Look at these. Um, wow. It's the most breathtaking amazing. place I've ever been. How the walls change color so quickly from white to orange and how the, the sand goes from white to orange is just, it's spec. It's unbelievably spectacular. And t- I was out there for four days in the middle of nowhere with Tyson and his wife and it was cool shit. I, I, that place is ama- absolutely amazing. How many people did you come across? <laughs> Shit, less Five? than ten. Okay. How humbling! How humbling does it feel? Oh yeah, it, it's amazing. It's got to feel like to be out there, to be out there and be alone with your pack and your food, and and I that was my, that was my second backpacking trip, and I didn't have a sleeping pad yet, which your pad you put underneath your sleeping bag in your tent, and the pad is what keeps you off the ground that helps keep you warm. I didn't know that yet. I was super amateur backpacker. You're still wearing your uh, Raiders. Yes. Uh, Orle Tyson picked me up on the fucking corner uh. in Guadalupe 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> did his four by four in my hop. G- in my fucking Jansport backpack. So uh, I was. The, fucking, did you hit the three wheel motion? What up? I was fucking cold that trip, dude. Because I was on. I'm like, I'm on. I was my sleeping bag was rated to like 20 degrees, right? So oh yeah, I'm good. Well, I was on the ground, so I was fucking cold. I was like, what the fuck? Why am I cold? Oh, well, dipshit, you don't have a pad. Oh, fuck. But, I mean, the trip was... I, when I think about the trip, I do not remember being cold. I remember it was just spectacular. You just remember the most beautiful thing you've probably ever seen. Uh, Yeah. Being on top of Angel's Landing is just... Whew, it was a hard... I mean, those were some... We did a 16-mile day, and that was a hard fucking day. And I was, I, I, I was dehydrated, and I felt like total shit at the end, but damn... It was amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so I've got one more before we go to places we haven't been. Yeah. I've been really pumping hard the Belize thing because I was very, I was blessed to go to this trip with work yeah. this year. And it's funny because if we had gone a week later, we would have canceled it because of COVID. Oh, like boop. I just look at the timing of how lucky and blessed and grateful I am to have that opportunity to go to this. Yeah. It was in Belize. And in Belize, there are some Mayan ruins on the mainland right next to Guatemala. Like, you go on that, you can see into Guatemala. Wow. I think it's Guatemala, is it? Sure. Guatemala. I don't know. This place is called Zunantunich or Thunantunich. And if you go hit hit three there for a second there, see, sir, that wow. that's what I saw. Now, I've not been to Machu. Machu is going to be Machu's the place. This place, I took some pictures. As a matter of fact, it's my Facebook background. It looks almost exactly like this picture. But um, this, all these carvings are right here. And it's really, when you look at it, it's not big. But holy fuck. It's, it's, just, it's just alive. I impressive. Very, yeah. very impressive. It is. It's, it's just pretty amazing how um, I just was really lucky. And then we, we did that. And then we also did a tubing tour where they did... They have underground to tu- uh, water where you tube in. Yeah. And there's a point where it's pitch fucking black. I am talking. You can't see in that. Front of your face. You can't see that. Yeah. And that's where they did rituals and stuff. And you like go back down in there and you're just like, they make a noise and the whole thing echoes throughout the, 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 the two, like the Canyon or whatever the cave, the cave. And, it's it's amazing. That's why Machu Picchu is such a big one on my list because I just think that one's just that on steroids. But anyway, so that's another one that I I've been blessed to. I've when I really look back on I've been I've been to the Badlands. I've been to you know Rose uh, was it Mount Rushmore. I've been to DC. I've been to Philadelphia. Obviously, with all there's so much heritage there. Like when you yeah. think about a place, that you want to see like the original drafts of the Declaration, right? Or, that's a place that fucking vibrates, man. Independence Hall, where they got together in the middle of fucking summer and sweated it, their ass with off. fucking wool suits with their wigs. and wigs. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine that fucking stink fest in 1770X, right? Like, how fucking stinky would that place have been? <laughs> you know, and they're like, all right, we're going to stay here until we figure this out, boys. Let's create a country. Anyway. So that would that would be my last, list, Rex. my last list. All right, what do we got that you've never been? Uh, I only have two, about? and right. Machu Picchu is one of them. So tell me what what's what about that is so engaging to you? Well, I've been to Chichen Itza, a Mayan ruin in north of Cancun, in Mexico, and I was just blown away by it. And it was the most humid place in the known fucking universe. Humid, humid, and we all one hundred three percent. We all one hundred seventeen percent. 119%. So it's like the election results. <laughs> it was so many hanging political. Chads, bro. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh, Chad was hanging. All right. Whoa. Hello. Uh, Down he was to sweaty left. Chad. <laughs> so it was just amazing to see these ruins that were thousands of year old. And there was a, 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 some pyramids. And it, it just was crazy to see that. This ancient civilization. I, I, I was blown away by it. It was breathtaking. So just, I, I'm, the, it made me interested more in the Mayan and Aztec and Incan cultures. That's awesome. And I, I, because you chose it, I've got so, we've got so many different ones we can choose. Yeah. So I'm not even going to talk about it. So I agree with you. Um, any Mayan, Incan, uh, 
Aztec. I've not seen an Incan or Aztec, I don't think. I don't think I've seen step pyramids. Now, uh, is it Chichen Itza that's step pyramid, or is it, it is. Machu Picchu? It's very... Uh, well, no, they're both step. Machu Picchu they're both, is not a pyramid, though. It's that... Oh, that's right. It's the that point um, on top of the mountain. They're, but they're step pyramids. I don't think they're... They're not... Pointed? They're Well, no, smooth sides. Yes. Uh, right, step pyramids. Uh, Chichen Itza was step, okay. but they're very narrow, and you couldn't go up it. Right. They blocked, I mean. Oh, right, you couldn't go up because You couldn't they go blocked, up it anymore. And you couldn't bring in glass bottles and things like that because of the pollution and whatnot. Because if you broke a glass bottle there, it could be dangerous. I, don't, to I didn't know about that part. Well, they didn't have a thun, thun, thun to Nietzsche, or Chichen Itza? The one that I went, no, the one that I went to was the oh. one that starts from there. You couldn't bring up glass bottles. I didn't know about that part. Yeah. But I think that's part of it because like, because just people litter. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pe people are shit, man. Yeah, yeah, we know. Like, Dude, scratching I was here on fucking Machu Picchu would probably be a fucking mistake. Like, I don't give a <laughs> shit if you've been there. That's yeah, great. right. Take don't a fucking be a picture. Dick, right? How about that? Be excellent. Um, yeah, I, I think that's awesome. So here, my first one, and I don't know if you know of this one, but it's called Gobekli Tepe. I've, I've heard of that. We've talked about fingerprints of the gods. This is where, so this is the whole theory of the Grand Han Graham Hancock thing. We, uh, when I say we, I, I'm assuming archaeologists okay. say the oldest thing is the pyramids, but the pyramids were only 5,000, 6,000 years old. Yeah. However, there's water erosion on the Sphinx that bring it back to the wet, the driest period. Before like, that, way before that. Like 12,000 years yeah. ago, not yeah. fucking six. Like double that shit, right. basically. Uh, where it's like ten to twelve thousand BC, yeah. so it's fourteen, yeah. you know, all, you know, nine to eleven thousand. I've, I've read the same thing, right? So Gobekli Tepe is is in Turkey, and they found it. Some guy just fucking came. It looked like a hill. It did it, it. They they buried it like a time capsule. It's it's like the theory or the the thought behind it is they buried it to preserve it, and over time, it just it doesn't look like. A pyramid it doesn't look like what it looks like or or it just looks like a land hill but look at some of these pictures man check some of this shit out that's what it looks like and they carbon dated back to that same period that we're talking about with the sphinx we, well sphinx but the sphinx hasn't been dated remember they they're still claiming oh that they the dated sphinx, the water erosion they dated they didn't date the water they they can't date the Sphinx. That's the problem. There's only a theory because the water damage on the Sphinx would only correlate to a certain time that the rainfall happened, but oh. there's no actual date. The, it, the archeology span world is really dragging their feet because once they come up with an answer, they don't like to change their minds. But this thing was dated. Look at, you see this, this guy that I'm circling yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this fucking thing. So what's crazy about it is that is a relief carving. Are you familiar with what a yeah. relief carving yeah, yeah, yeah. is? Instead of carving into the rock, they're it's carving around. Out. Right. They carved out. the part around it. Correct. That was 12,000 years ago. And we talk about like whether we understand nowadays. Look at that. We don't understand shit. We dude. don't understand shit. Look how, look at that. There's like a scorpion down, like there's a scorpion down here. Look at that. Is how amazing is that? And then there's like a, a bird and it looks like an, almost like an alligator lizard You're going to post thing. this link for the people listening on iTunes? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I'll put a link up there. But, um, oh, sorry. Now we can go back. Oh, now it's now I dox myself. Oh, no. Fuck. Doxing. Shit. Docking, dixing. Can, do we do it? Ah, uh, poop. Just poop. Bro. Just poop everywhere. Bro, it had my name and everything on it, bro. It did? I don't know. Where? Let's see. No, no. Let's see. What do I got? Do we have a picture of me? No. Okay. Phew. It doesn't have my pterodactyl porn folder on it, so that's good. <laughs> Whew, okay, I just had to check. Oh, um, but anyway, Gobekli Tepe is one that... So this is, <laughs> is where it's interesting. The archaeologist was German. Oh, shit. And he... He was a little overweight, and he, was, he wasn't he was in the best... I wouldn't say he was in the best shape, per se, but he was only like 60. He died of a heart attack in his pool, in the pool. like Very shady circumstances on how this person passed away wow so they're thinking about there was some collusion in the whatever collusion. anyway that's one that i just absolutely would want to go to just seems pretty cool okay and supposedly there's all these eight uh chinese monuments like that are they look like mounds but they're actually pyramids yes that grew over too. And there's a couple in russia that are like that yeah it's crazy all right so that's my that's my first 
Okay. What's your second? Uh, Below your load, sir. Uh, I got, there's the the pyramids. There's a whole complex of ancient pyramids outside of Mexico City that I want to go to. And I don't know the name of them, but it's it's massive. It's are they just, Aztec or? I, I believe Aztec, so. Right. Seems yes. a little more Yes, I believe they are Aztec. And they're just huge. They're just, they're flatter than most pyramids in the world. And they're just ginormous. And there's multiple of them. And they're surrounded by other older structures. I, and I would really like to see all that. That is really Aztec cool. Aztec stuff. All right, I'm going to give you my last one. Go. Because we're going to close it up. How the fuck did we get two hours out of this? Because we're stupid. <laughs> we talked about Aaron Hernandez and stupid Yeah, but we talked about fun. Hey, we're all over the place, I man. I think I was Everyone on was... you and I was talking. Poop. Well, then put it on you, bro. Poop. Poop. Go. Last one. Hit yeah. three. Three. The Terracotta Army. Yeah, that's cool, dude. That is just... That just blows my fucking mind. Look at this fucking shit. How crazy is this? Like, thou how many thousands or whatever? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You gonna count them? I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot of the thousands. Look at all these guys. They're all like, hey, I'm just hanging out here. And they're all getting carved out. Like, just to see that, like, how how the fuck did they do that so <laughs> long ago? Balls, and, dude. and, like, it, I am both so... I've we talk about our dichotomy. Like you and I are, Oh, you can, you can turn off, you can put it on you. It doesn't matter. Um, whoever, um, one of us, one of, one of, one of the three. Um, what I love about, like, this is my thing with humanity is like, we watch ourselves build this and we build the pyramids and we build, go back to Tepe. We built the, the, the Mayan pyramids, the Aztec pyramid. We build all these unbelievably amazing things. And then we use them to sacrifice ourselves and just kill people. Ah, fucking sacrifice to the gods. Like how, how humanity is so fucking both sides. Like we are both devil and God all the way throughout our entire history. And that moves me in a way. You are correct. I would use that God term loosely though. Yeah. Because I mean, when I we say create, God, I say you, but create. We, we create buildings and shit. We're creators. And I but, would also like to beg to differ on your thing about we created the pyramids because we I don't, know. I don't yeah. necessarily agree with the fact that how the fuck did humans move a 110 ton block down a river? 8,000 times or 800,000 times. I don't times, necessarily yeah. believe I, that shit. Okay. I'm, so, I'm, I, I'm totally in that same school of thought as you. Please understand like I don't know the origins, correct? Right. However, we have seen humanity do some... I mean, like, oh, yeah. Humans getting together for World War II, for example. Like, one side to protect the rest of the world. Like, every, like, those Americans and Russians and everyone who went to the front knew their fate. Yeah. Those guys who stormed Normandy knew they were getting the fuck mode down. There is no question that they, that one out of, what, 20, 30 would make? I don't even know oh, what the yeah, number is. Yeah. But how, well, like, yeah. I mean, just think about that. Like, and you know it going in, and you still do it. Right. How it's many, your duty, right? I don't, and your duty is to sacrifice your life. The world's different, though. It's oh, a no, no. World I, now I, than I, it was I then. agree, dude. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, we have this ability to really come together, and we're in COVID times. And how many times have we seen great things come out of this COVID thing? It's where, very COVID Christmas and stuff and other stuff too. I'm going to wear a mask to see my mom and have turkey goblins too. Boom. No, you can stay on you because I'm done. Um, but but basically humanity is... Awesome why, and terrible. Why do we have to have that other side? I don't know, dude. This is, that, is a terrible conversation. Why? Because <laughs> it's a place we won't go. What? I want to go to humanity. Who? I want to go to human world. Oh, I didn't tell you the other place I want to go. Oh, Mars. Mars, bitches. <laughs> there you go, Russell. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Um, anything else? Any closing? Last on my list, sir. Yeah. The Louvre in Paris. You've not been to the Louvre. I've not been to Paris, bro. You've I've not, not been, been to France. Paris. I would like to go to a, the most, probably the most famous museum in the world. Not necessarily. Yes, I'd like to see the Mona Lisa. Not that I think that's... Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, men have named you. 
<laughs> la 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 la. That's Nat King Cole, bro. Yeah, I got that record, bro. Um, Louvre. Yeah, I like to just go. I am a pre. I'm a pre. I am an appreciator of art of all types and kinds, and whether it's oil painting or sculpture or whatever, I, I, I can appreciate art because I can't do it. So if I can do it, it's not art. It's creative. Hence, um, Muhammad Ali picture here. And, um, also Tambian, yeah, the, the godfather behind you over here. I, I can't here. paint those so that therefore that's art. That's it's, my definition. It's so, semi pop art in a way because yeah, because Megzi hates them, but they're my they're they they mean a lot to me. But that's why they're here, and it's fine. Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. So and, and one is signed by Muhammad Ali himself, so I'm totally cool with that. Wow. That okay, was, that's that, badass. There it is, right there. That one over there. Muhammad. What was it again? Muhammad Ali. Yes. So, uh, to go to a museum with that caliber of art and culture and history is is definitely way way up on my list. If I may. Please. Have you been to Philadelphia? No. Rodan Museum. The Rodan. The Rodan. Wee oui, wee. Oui. It is the largest collection of Rodan. There's actually David's Thinker, a copy oh. of it on the outside of it. The Gates of Hell going in. Wow. The Rodan thing. It's pretty impressive. Okay. I mean, Philadelphia had the art museum. It's it's a it's top top notch. Okay. I mean, it might not be the Met or what's yeah. Guggenheim, possibly yes, or whatever. Bless you. But the Louvre obviously is the one that everyone globally, globally, yeah. everyone talks. And there's about, like right? a three-hour wait, and that just sucks. That's not worth it. But hopefully, if you run in, ah, 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 I know, ah, 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 error, error. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a Euro trip and then the what do you what was that called? Euro trip. The uh, Manchester United football. Football soccer team. Football club. club. Favorite fan club can My support baby me. baby takes the nine-ring train. She takes the nine to five. And then she takes to the Manchester United football, football team. Or whatever it is. That's a fucking great movie. <laughs> anyway. Um, what is this safe word? I'm wondering if there's any other, I mean, obviously you and I would, if we could go anywhere, we'd go anywhere. Yeah. I would go to every national park. I'd love to go to Australia. Park. I've never been there. No, I would go to every national park. How many continents have you been on? Uh, two. You've been to South America? No. Is Belize central or South America? North. It's still North Belize America? Belize is part, is it's part attached to Mexico. America. So North. Yeah. Oh, Panama. Is Panama where the Panama. split is? Panama is Central America. So where, right. what is that? Well, I'm wondering if the Panama Canal is what... Separates, physically delineates the now the continent in today's world, in today's modern, because yeah. there was still South America back then. Right. Before the Panama Canal. The, the, there was. There right? was. I'm, well, I'm saying, but if it was one mass, would it just be America? It Well, technically North and South America is called the Americas. Well, thank you. Well, so yes. You're, just like it, Europe and Asia is called Eurasia. You're, <laughs> so uh, you're, you're correct. Oh, it is one landmass. You're absolutely correct, sir. But they did say North and South. America. Yeah, those are the two continents. Right, but how, what delineates a, what designates a continent? I don't know. That it's surrounded by water. This I would is hope. the weirdest beer Googles, bro. Well, technically, Asia and Europe are connected, right? So they're on, they're Asia technically two different continents. Europe connected. Europe yes, and Asia they are. are one landmass. They are. So then that doesn't make sense that it's a different continent. I agree. It now should I'm be confused. Eurasia. Now I am confused by continents. Correct. European. Shit. I just, I'm a peeing. We're you, all a peeing. Everyone's got a pee. I scream, you scream. We, we all, all scream. scream for stuff. I scream. Um, so that's been fun. My baby takes, takes the morning train. He takes the night to five and then doodly do. Well, this has been another uh, Google A's Day Cervezas. That's, yes, muy bien. Google A's Day Cervezas. Pinchy Double E. Double O. Double G. Uh, rate. Review. Subscribe. I think we should we should do it back and forth, right? Download. No, start. Rate. Review. <laughs> Download. Uh, whoa, whoa! Trigger finger. Sorry. Jesus. <sighs> Review. So, uh, now I'm thrown off. Man. We're done. We're it's fine, dude. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us on a Christmas. It's uh, a very COVID Christmas. Christmas. It's the best time of the year. The weather outside is weather. 
allegedly, allegedly, like flu is down a gazillion percent. And okay, like, yeah, because they all got COVID, bro. <laughs> it just took a over. bazillion percent. I don't know. That's what I heard. Cool. Anyway, well, I hope you guys uh, got some awesome like gifts, ideas. Shit. Yeah, gift ideas. Yeah. Well, did you guys buy a trip to go to one of our places? So, what's everyone think? What's everybody want to go for their neck? When when COVID's gone, where's everyone? Everybody want to go? Leave a comment. Which monuments do you want to go to? Whether they're man made or natural, leave a comment. Let us know. Tell us we're full of poop about Machu Picchu or not. Whatever it takes. Do you want to know about something about Grand Canyon? Yeah, it's a big hole in the ground. It's real. Whoa, and it's fantastic. <laughs> A la Terry Hatcher oh, in Seinfeld. Oh, that's amazing. They're real and they're fantastic. fantastic. And on that note, yes. I think, is it time to go? Yeah. It's time to go. Yeah. All right. Well, Merry Xmas. Yeah, happy birthday, Jesus. Because I think it is Jesus. the 25th. Happy is, birthday, sir. Jesus. So um, would you like to close it out with? I would. Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. <laughs>